I remember I come out of jail and I said to man, I'm going to start a record label. Fam, man looked at me like I was a madman, fam. The rose looked at me like I was nuts. I'm, I'm coming to the man and I'm saying, well, I'm going to start a record label. Man's like, what? That's some jolting, record label. That's how backwards enough for the man anymore. Mm. Like, the streets in general, not just my man, the streets in general. People look at me like, what? No, fuck that, fam. Let's sell, let's sell some drugs. Or let's go and do some robberies. That's how, that's how dumb down the streets was at the time. Yeah. Well, I, I've come down and said, well, we're going to build a business. We're, we're doing this. And I was like, what? Your judge has lost his cook. You've been in jail too, too long. Mm. I'm saying to you, that's how it was. It's real. So that's how you got to look at it. Like, man, set some next paces on next levels. Straight www.pdcent.com This is what I noticed with a lot of these interviews, a lot of people in the hood and whatnot, they always try to claim this gang bad boy thing that they are, oh, I was a bad boy. Fam, I was never a bad boy. I don't want to be a bad boy. Bad boys are bums, fam. Like, I've never been a bad boy. And I grew up different. I grew up a Rasta and I'm a, in a revolution household. Like, I'm, I'm more of a revolutionary. Like, if it's bad, badness in revolutionaryness, then that's me. But yeah. see, bad boy role, I've never been a bad boy, man. Bad boys are bums. Anyone that's out there now that feels like a bad boy, you're a bum. Like, straight. I've never been into that. I've never been into that. I've been into making money. And money, because of the love for money, that's got me into problems. So money has got me into doing car thefts and burglaries and, and other things where people say, Raw, Judge is going greasy. Greasy, meaning that I'm going for money. Yeah. Yeah, not greasy and I'm an evil guy going to be, like, beat people up and bag them up. I was never into that. I'm saying I've never been one of those guys that just walking on the street trying to screw people and bag them up. I'm yeah. not like that. I'm a likeable guy. I, 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 so I know, that's why I know some people now. Because I've, I've been that guy that's why it's just love all around. Let's make some money. Everyone knows, come to judge, I'm like, what? Well, how can we make some money? That's my main thing, bro. How can we make money? I, I don't want to be a bad boy. Fuck yeah. bad boys, fam. I'm trying to make money out here. And that's what I'm saying. I've always been like that, but I just won't have it. So if my mum thinks to come to me and say anything disrespectful, you better be prepared for get punched in your face. That's what I'm saying to you. It's rule like that. Because I'm saying, but man's not on this evil bad boy thing, but I will punch in your face. That's what I'm saying to you. But my main thing is money and progression. And I've always, all the man then, you can ask anyone, they always tell you, judges always been progressive, always making money. That's all I'm on. I'm not in no mix-up, no no bad boy thing, but I, w I would never have it. The Artist TV, back out here again in association with Block 5 Entertainment. And finally, we're here with the funk man from PDC, Jar Jar Zolz. Yo, it's been a long time coming, but here it goes. How you doing? You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. What's happening? Well, I'm here. Yeah, Luckily, I'm here. Yeah. Glad to do it. Big up the people that talked to Jar and said to him, listen, a DR this TV <laughs> interview is necessary. <laughs> big up Biker. Yeah, big up my bro, Biker. Real talk. From the hood, a place where nothing goes good. Where little niggas raise hell like bikes are shook. It's a life of crime where young niggas forced to rhyme. The only nine to five I know is a brand new nine. It's a joke. When you're young, black and broke, so stressed in the streets, you can hardly cope. Coke flower, cash, guns, and power. All this rain where I'm from, you can call me shower. Disturbing, yeah, right. Fuck the urban. I diss rappers daily, I know you heard them. I roll with big G's, do stick ups and get B's. The money on the hot cash, the CDs. Hey fam, I kidnap DJs all day fam, and won't let you go till the radio pay fam. Hey fam, make sure you play my music, cause J Souls is about to lose. Start of it. It's Jar Jar PDC yeah. Tanner. Call me Mr. Metana, man. I pop guns like Taliban. Al Qaeda when I bust my heater. I pop shots. Big pussy niggas run like cheaters. All know that you both came from Birmingham. Yeah. But we've never had an insight to if you two actually yeah. knew each other in Birmingham. Yeah. Nah. So, the, the, um, my story, on Tanner's side, look, I don't know. He came from, we come from the same part of Birmingham, Handsworth. We both part of it. And when, when we was young, I didn't know him from Birmingham though, but we knew the same people. Yeah, so we knew the same people in Birmingham, I'm saying to you, so that was, and that was the real people in Brum. Like, I'm saying to you, not all soft people, it was real, the real thing. Um, yeah, so man's, he's come from, in Brum as well, he was around the real people in Brum as well. Luck, stuck in two smoking barrels, all you hear is pop, pop, all through the hours on the council blocks, so she got free of hours where fogs drop from gun smoke shout. Let's say something that was meant to be, that mm. two guys, both mm. from Birmingham, mm. end up being in the same part of London and starting one of the most influential, should I say, leaderships mm. that have ever come out of the world. Mm. Yeah, of course, it was, it was definitely one of those things that when me and, when me and Tanner first, when we first met, um, I got kicked out of a school called William Penn, and then I went to Lillian Bailey's down in Kennington, 
um, and I went down there and I was with um, I was with a friend of mine, Samantha, and she was like, yeah, come, let's go on. And my friend's mum just died. I was like, well, I'll come, I'm rolling, get me, like, this, we bumped school, we just walked out of school with her, but we walked out of school, me, Bumi, and Samantha, I went down there, and then we ended up in the Tanner's house down, um, that, that little block there on Wandsworth Road. And I didn't know him at times, I didn't really know him, I'm saying, he, he had seen me in school, but we didn't really, it wasn't really like a, that kind of thing, but mm. from that day, he went to his house, and we smoked two weed, and we just, we just vibes, and he had me, I didn't even know his mum died on, 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 until that day, and he's like, yeah. well, my mum passed him, I was like, raw deep. So he was mad how we just met on that day when his mum passed and then yeah. we kind of bonded straight away. I'm saying to you, we had, we had similar backgrounds where we come from, the rest of um, background and Birmingham and just the whole thing kind of vibes straight away. Yeah. I'm saying so that, that from that day, I didn't see Tanner again after that day. Nah. For bam, that's school time, that's in school now. This is like 19, this is around 1995, the early part. Bam, by the end of 95, I'm going to prison. So by night, by night six, I'm in prison. Early night six, I'm in reception in prison. It felt him. I mean, it felt on reception, and I'm, I'm, I've got a job on reception. I've got the reception job. You get me, obviously. So bam, um, I see Tanner coming. You get me, and he's like, "Raw, what well, going, judge?" I'm like, "Raw, who's this again?" And for long, I'm thinking, "This is like Raw, Asha from school." I'm like, "Raw, oh yeah, bam." And see, then we started chatting. Get me, then bam, he must have went. Um, he took my prison details. Then I, I think that next day I got shipped out to Ellsbury. I was in prison, bam, I got, um, and he went to um, Portland, Portland, he went to Portland, and I went to Ellsbury, and, and he was right, he, said, he wrote me a letter, he hit me, bam, he wrote me a letter, boom, 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 and then we started, that's how we kind of started communicating, and he's always writing the letters, PDC, no, Pilden Crew, you want to be PDC, so like Pilden Crew on the letters, get me, bam, bam, I had already, by this time, I had heard Pilden Crew from some of the older 28s, like I had heard that, that the saying, um, it was like a saying. It was more, it wasn't a crew. It was more of a saying. And the saying was coming from like Sykes. He's a, he's a 28, and and then um, drops. He was a 28, but he was from Ainshan official. I'm saying so. He, they, they. I heard from them saying Pilnam crew, Pilnam crew, and a guy called Azzy. I'm saying to you, you've interviewed Azzy already. I'm saying to you, so Azzy, we used to say Azzy was known as Johnny Pilo. I'm saying to you, so obviously he's like Tanner's cousin. So that's where probably Tanner's heard it from as well, and that's where it's grown from. But it's the original concept of Pildem, because people always say, like, where did Pildem crew come from? The, the, the saying, it's come from the 28 and couple next original um, Ainge Time and like Drops, Machiavelli. It, it, it come from, I'm not sure who it came from, but it yeah. came from that direction of Sykes, Azzy, and Drops. That's when I first heard it. You yeah. me? But with regards to mm. those names, because that's one thing you're clearing up there that mm. we was going to ask you. Because a lot of people are saying that you and Tanner mm. did not start mm. Pilgrim Yeah, Crew. no, we didn't. You started yeah. the music yeah. label. Yeah, we started the music label. On the world, yeah. like you say, it was mm. Aswad, yeah. Archer, a man like yeah. that. So was, and they're was, saying the truth mm. is that the only two people from Pilgrim mm. Crew that really mm. had any connection mm. with them was Tanner mm. and Biker as young'uns. Nah. What do you say to that? Nah, 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 that's what's wrong. The, the Biker heard Pilgrim Crew through me. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that, that's, yeah, that's wrong. So, so what, what happened, so Pilden Crew as the, the movement was from the, the names I mentioned, the yeah. older ones. I'm, I can't go into who, because yeah, yeah. that's not my generation, but that's where Pilden Crew come from. Yeah. The, the Sykeses, the Dropses, the Archers, the Azzies. Yeah. That's, it come from that direction, Pilden Crew. So us as young ones, Tanner, I don't know how, Tanner's heard it as well, and I've heard it as well, but I haven't run with it, because yeah. I was, I'm just Ainge Town. Yeah. I'm just official Ainge Town, like, that's me. I wasn't... I'm not a beg friend, I don't jump on no one's thing. Yeah. I was just, everyone knows Elijah from Angetown, straight. Yeah. That's, that's, that was my thing, Elijah from Angetown, straight. I'm not jumping on no one's bandwagon. That's how I am, I don't jump on bandwagon. But I've heard the name and everyone knows I'm official, yeah. straight, that's it. So, the end of story. So, but what, what happened now? So, when Tanner's, Tanner's the one that kind of brought it to me where I kind of jumped on it as well. Yeah. Yeah, then I kind of jumped on it and I said, well, you know what? We, when, 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 we, when, when we jumped on it, it was kind of like, well, we've done been, I was done being robbing and all that. We've done been doing a bag of stuff. So I'm like, well, this, well I'm not going to jump on this now and then continue r r running with robbing. I'm saying, well, we could do something different with this. Mm. I'm, about, I'm, I'm already rapping. I'm rapping. No, Tanner wasn't rapping. No, I'm rapping. Tanner was doing, um, um, like, dark rag ragga. He was, them all chatting ragga. Yeah. Tanner and Quinny was chatting ragga. Them all doing the ragga thing. I was the only one rapping. So yeah. I said, well, you know what? Because um, anyway, this way it goes back to the rapping thing now. The rapping thing also goes back to 28 as well. Because I got, um, I started rapping from a guy called um, Reedy, rest in peace, he's dead now. He was 28. 
he's the one that got me. He used to help me write my first lyrics. I said to him, he used to come to my house and like, yeah, do this and do that and do this style and rah, 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 and get me. He used to bring me a couple of dances with him and I'm saying he was like, he's official 28 and so he, I was kind of around Reedy. I'm saying Reedy's like my big brother, I love him to death, I'm saying so, but rest in peace, he passed away. And, and then that's, that's where the kind of, I was always saying, you know what, Pill them crew, it doesn't make sense us continue robbing. I'm a progressive person, I've always been progressive. I'm yeah. saying, well, where can we take this to? I'm saying, well, okay, so I'm saying, well, you know what, we can do something bigger than this. So I started coming around to, to Brooks and Ainstown, and I started saying to the man that, that was around me, Pill them crew, PDC, yeah. PDC, PDC. So that's where Biker and that got it. So you hear them, Biker, and all the, Biker had a whole other um, section of people around him, yeah. and, and, and brothers, they had, they had Biker, Shogun, Sykes. I'm saying they was around me at all, at all as well. I'm saying to you, so I had a lot of people around me, and then they started running with it, Harvey, and a lot of other people started saying Pill and Crew after that. Yeah. So a lot of people from like the Ainstown and this Brooklyn area, they heard it, the younger generation heard it from me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you, but I didn't start it. Yeah, so I, we know yeah. it and we can set it. Yeah, so that's it. what I'm saying to you. What yeah. exactly are you stating you. that you was to pill them so, crew? So pill them crew, I, I didn't, I was the one, I was the like, what's the, what's that word called when you take it? I, I took something and made it great. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. So, revolution. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's like seeing a tramp on the floor and saying, well, you know what? I see potential in this tramp. Yeah. I'm saying to you. Where everyone's walking past and saying, I got that tramp, here's the tramp. I'm looking at tramp and saying, Rod, nah, this tramp could be big, you know. Mm. If this is done properly, this tramp can be famous and it can make us money. We can have a direction to move move out of the hood with. Yeah. So I said, Rod, you know what? So then that's when I came up with the concept of poverty driven children. Yeah. And all those concepts, I came up with those concepts. I started saying poverty driven children, pray days change, um, poor days in corruption. I started yeah. adding on, I started branding. Yeah, yeah. So it left Pilgrim Crew. So from when the music started, it kind of left Pilden Crew. I'm saying to you, so the Pilden Crew era that everyone was running around was very short, short-lived. Yeah. It wasn't long. It wasn't like long, but in the time it was around, it was, it was bare things happening. Yeah. So a lot of stuff was happening. A lot of names was associated with it. Serious names. A lot of things was happening. Robberies and man them getting robbed and, and and bank robberies and a lot of things was happening around Pilden Crew. Yeah. So that's why it was a it, people were like raw. That's not that's not to be messed with. Yeah. It was serious, but the man that associated Pilden Crew was serious. So people are also mm -hmm. saying when you went on to Danny mm -hmm. Dyer's Deadliest Gangs, mm -hmm. it was still made to look mm -hmm. like you was the leader of the PDC gang, not the PDC movie yeah, because, entertainment yeah, because, label. Because they look at PDC as a gang. Yeah. They don't know about Pill and Crew. When, yeah. they're, when they're saying PDC gang, they don't, they don't, they don't know about Pill and Crew, about Sykes and Drops and Arch and. and no, nah, no. Nah. Exactly, so that's. But they do know about corporate, Tanner. No, 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 no. The corporate world don't know about those people. The no, but the listen, 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 the corporate world, listen, the corporate world don't know about Pill Them Crew. Mm. They know about Pill Them Crew through Judge of Souls. Yeah. They don't know about Pill Them Crew before that. Before I brought Pill Them Crew to the masses, no, only local people in London would have heard of it. Mm. I'm saying to you, because only a certain man them on the road that was saying Pill Them Crew. I'm saying to you, so after Sykes passed away, rest in peace, and then drops them a lot, they, it wasn't, those, that generation kind of, they were their big men. Yeah. So the younger ones would not heard it, so they heard it through me and Tanner. Yeah. I'm saying to you, that's, 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 that's it. And then, then he went to poverty driven children, the yeah. rap element. And the media called the rap element a gang. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. So poverty driven children is known as a gang, PDC. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. But as regards mm. us that were living mm. around you mm. and seeing what was mm. coming from the vaults, mm. what we're saying to Jar Jar is even though we know you was the most mm. influential mm. member and your mind was mm. above and thinking along clearer than the rest, there wouldn't have been a PDC mm. without the rest. So when yeah, you yeah, went yeah. on Daddy Dyer, yeah. nobody seemed to mm. get a shine mm. but you. Yeah, because that's what they wanted to do. It was, it was my documentary about me. It wasn't about everyone else. Yeah, but it was about the fact that you was the leader of PDC. No, no, it was about Judge of Souls changing PDC from a gang to a music label. Yeah, but they never, they never put that on yeah, the property then. That's, no, but that's, that's, that, whether, they, whether they put that on property, that's not, I don't make the documentary. Nah. So, if someone's in, if, if I'm getting interviewed by someone and there's people say, Robert, why did they ask you this? I can't tell you why the interviewer didn't ask me that. Yeah. That's not my problem. So, that's where people need to, need to get out of their, their um, illiterate, and dumb down mind state and start looking at things out of the box. Mm. People look at what what happened, people look at everything negative. I'm saying to you, and only a hater and bad mind people will look at stuff from the angle that you're that you're talking about. Because you're looking at stuff from a hater 
and a bad mind person's angle that will look at things like that. Because someone, real people, that was on Pilgrim Crew back in the days, the, the big man, them, I'm around them all the time. Yeah. Like, yeah listen, 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 listen. People like Drops, that like he was here the other day. He yeah. said, he might be like my big brother. So those people are like the founders of, of, of that kind of old school pillar era, but they're big men. They're like, they're like in their 40s now. I'm 36. Mm. So they're like way in, nearly 50 now. So they're in a different generation for me. So they can't, why would they be in, in the things? Why would they be in my things? Now, what we're saying is, what mm. you're saying, we understand, but we're also mm. saying that from the people mm. that are watching you, we're saying, yeah, they should have been doing it on Jar Jar, but they also should have been including people like Tanner, Why? Evia, Shaq, because it all made yeah, one no, team. No, 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 this is the, the, the documentary was about me. It's not yeah, about it was about you as the leader. Yeah, no, 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 it's not, there's no leader, nothing. It was about PDC. Exactly. It was about PDC and who I was around at the time that wanted to be in it. You just saying it should have been on those people, that's those people didn't want to be around in the documentaries at those times. So you saying that, you're just saying things in, as a fan, oh, why don't Michael Jackson be in the interview as well then? That's dumb. No, that's, no. that's dumb. Like, here I'm saying to you, so it's people that's around at the time. So in, in, in my Danny Dyer interview, the people that was around me that wanted to take part, took part. Yeah. So Maddox was in the interview with me. Maddox was in the thing with me. Birdie was in it. My brother was in it. People that wanted to be around could be around it. No, yeah, when, we when, when there's that. No, 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 you don't but understand it. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You know, that, because it's not their thing. I'm the one that speaks. No, not everyone can. You know what it's about, yeah? You need to, this is what people need to realize, yeah? It's not about, it's, it's about who can speak and who can articulate things to the public. A lot of the men can't speak to the public. They don't understand it. They don't understand. They, you, they want to go, they can't go in front of a camera and, and articulate themselves. A lot of the men them. And they, what they do, see, is it a documentary right now? I say, well, it's a documentary. Come, let's do it. No, no one to do it. When it comes out, oh, I should have done it, you know. Because now you're hearing that people are talking about Jaja. You're, you're, you're all making me call my name Jaja, Jaja. You're also, um, so people are starting to say, well, that individual Jaja was big, where, where? But you don't want to take a part of it. I'm saying to you, just like, just like when the book came out, the book, when the book, when the book was um, first um, coming out, everyone was, everyone was like, wow, yeah, the book's going to be hard. When it came out now, and then people were like, wow, I'll them and I'll snitch him. Everyone tried to disassociate themselves with the book. That's what I say to you. So you're only, that's people jumping on bandwagons. You're only there when it's shining. When things are dark, you don't want to be a part of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm someone, I've been through PDC for the dark and the good. Bear man only coming on PDC when it's good. When it's dark times, no one can't be seen. So I don't give a fuck about anybody out there, whether they're in PDC or not. That I don't care about they were in a documentary and I'm getting the shine. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck who pissed off. Straight. And they know this. I'm saying to you, that is real. I'm saying to you, so my documentaries, if, if anyone's offended, they can see me all the time. They can see me. They, everyone, you know what it is? I'm one of the people, I'm one of the most accessible people uh, in Brooklyn. I'm accessible. My studio's right here, you can knock the door. Man knows my phone. You can, see my phone? I've had my phone for, for years. I've got the same number. You can just text me or send me an email and you can get me all the time. So no one can't be offended. That's the real talk. So that kind of closes down that issue. Yeah. It's Let's cool. get back to Tanner then. Mm. When you first connected with Tanner and you became tight, mm. give us your insight on what you saw in Tanner. What did you see as him as a person? Well, that's it, Tanner. Tanner was, Tanner was just, he was my brother. I'm saying to you. So he wasn't as a sort of person. I saw, I saw him as my brother. Yeah. Like everyone that was around was our brothers. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was, that's how we, we came up as all of us brothers. Yeah. It wasn't a thing like, well, you see, you've got crews now that come together and say, okay, they sit down, your name's going to be Madman MC, your name's going to be Killer, Killer Crew, whatever, your name's going to be Mac 10, Kill Everyone, your name's going to be, now like, we wasn't like that. We was brothers, like we go to our, each other's houses, chill, like man, share money, man, share food, man's brothers, I'm saying to you, this, we live, it's a different thing, that's how we come up. So yeah. I just thought, Tyler was, and Tyler was a, um, Tanner was a dope rapper. I yeah. say to you, even though we remember we, me and Tanner, we started off the American thing, like that American accent thing. But Tanner was hard. Tanner was better than me. Tanner was hard, hard rapper, like dope. I'm yeah. saying to you, hard rapper. Even though I started rapping first before everyone, Tanner was hard. Like at that time, he was the, like he at that time, Tanner was the best rapper in PDC. Yeah. Like by far, I'm saying to you, by far, Tanner was the best rapper. I'm saying to you, I, I've always been the the face person and yeah. the big mouth. I've been that person. I can speak. I can I can say what. PDC. I could be the man in front. I'm like yeah. that. That's me. I'm saying to you, I'm a natural leader. So I'll be that person. And say, that's, it. that's it. It was me and Tanner. Was just, we, we had a vision and we said we're going to run with it. And that's it. That was it. So with Tanner, do you think in any way 
you brought him in more than he would have been if he never met you. Because a lot of people out here are saying, without Tanner, mm. sorry, without Jar Jar, mm. there would be no Tanner. But then the mm. other side, people are saying that's rubbish. Mm. What do you say to that? No, I would not. It's, it's, it's not, you know, it was here. Yeah. I bought ta Tanner, Tanner was from Wandsworth Road, and he had already known, he had already known, um, he was around like some of the old ones, like Arch and um, half a penny, and so he grew up around some of the older, uh, older twenty eights. Where I, I didn't grow up around the older twenty eights. I grew up around the Angel Town and them. So I grew up around Robo, Wiley, um, Drops. Um, the only twenty eights, the older ones that I grew up around was um, Sykes, Reedy, Sykes, Reedy. Mm. Sykes Reedy, that was the main, that, that, that's two twenty eight that I grew up around, that I knew of, that's it. But I didn't, I'm saying that all the rest of the man that I grew up around was this official Brookston man. Mm -hmm. Like official, like younger from Summer Layton and like I grew up with official man and senior from Brookston Hill. I'm saying to you, so I grew up around official man then though. Even though they weren't 28s, there was official, like serious man then. I'm saying to you, so everyone knows about Robo and them man, they're from Ainge Town. That's who, that was my, like, my big brothers and Jason Pem. Like Jason Pem, that's who I grew up under, like that's, they, them man took me under their wings. I'm saying to you that I grew up around a whole set of madman and, and real man then. I'm saying to you, and Tanner grew up around another set of madman and, and older, and he grew up around some of the older 28s, more then. I'm saying to you, that's all it was. So Tanner kind of introduced me to some of the, um, I, I knew some of the other um, older 28s through Tanner. And then all the younger, say that, say that the whole younger generation, Tanner didn't know none of them. Not. So I, I've kind of, so everyone from the younger generation has, has seen Tanner with me. So they like who's, who's this guy? That's so to them they like well judge about him because they don't know him. Mm. So to, to to a whole set of people they don't know Tanner, but they've seen him with me. So they they're thinking well judge about him. Yeah, it's not they don't bring no one. It's like he's from over there and I started rolling with him and yeah. then I brought him to the over to this side and we started with we're, we're on the same thing. So everyone showed him love straight away. Yeah. I'm saying um people around me is Biker, Sykes, Shugan, all them. All the, I'm saying all them and they was around at that time. So it's all good black cars as well, like there's a bag of people around me at the time and a bag of serious people was around me. Yeah. I'm saying to you, so it was like half and half in that in that in that thing where you're saying, cause he made me know some people, I made him know some yes, people. I, I made I made I, 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 I made yeah, we helped you but I probably made him on my side, he probably got introduced to a, a, a lot more people on my side. Yeah. That was also going over things, I'm saying to you. So yeah. that's all that's 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 probably why some people will say that. But it's just that raw, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm saying it's not like raw. Well, I bought Tanner and I made him some great, it's not like that, it's yeah. like, well, he was around me and at the time, I was, when Tanner came around, he wasn't, he wasn't, he was a cool guy, he wasn't like, well, a bad boy, yeah. like some greasy bad boy, and I think, and he wasn't, well, he wasn't making a bag of money, and I think, he was just, he was just Asher, was just Bantana, yeah. know, a cool guy that can rap sick, I'm saying to you, that's, that's what it was, I'm saying to you, at that time, I was making money, mm. I've always been making money, all the time, I'm known to make money. So I'm a I'm a grinder. I'm a hustler. I've come up from car thefts, burglaries, the whole nine. I've come up in. I'm a I'm a, I'm a career. What do they call it? Career criminal. Mm. I was a career. I was making money. I've been doing this. I'm saying to you, I knew how to make money. And yeah. I, I always knew how to make money. So I was make helping everyone make money. I've yeah. always been that guy. So that's what I was. And I'm saying to you, so I brought Tanner into that world. That I was I was yeah. also. But Tanner was doing his thing as well. So it's not like well, he just was like some guy that didn't know nothing, and then he came into a world of of of, of judge and it was. Great, no, yeah. he's already been hustling, but I was introduced to a whole other thing as well, another yeah. side. So, That's what it. we need to know from mm. Jar Jar's lips, finally, because this is a question mm. we've waited years to know. Mm. We all know mm. from the outside, and people that were official with mm. both of you have told me from their lips that you and Tanner were tight. Yeah. How did this relationship end up the way it was in your yeah. real words? Do, do, do you know what me, me and Tanner was? Me and Tanner were tight. It's not a problem. We're, we was brothers, so it's calm. Like, that's how it is. We're brothers. That's why there's been. That's why there's never been no beef, like no like shooting or yeah. stabbing or punch, never punching the face, never fighting. Like, it can get to that, but it hasn't mm -hmm. because deep down he knows what time it is, and deep down I know what time it is. I'm saying to you, so it's like well, let's, let's, they will never get to that. It's cool. Yeah. I'm saying to you, I saw his sister up there. Like you know, we, you know, it's mad when you know you like your family. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's peak. Like it's dumb. Like I'm saying to you, like so. We we after when we got to a certain time, Tanner came Tanner came out of prison. I came out of prison in 2000 and, 2004, for my second sentence for, um, for drugs. But um, I came out of prison. Bag of us came out. Loads of us. I'm saying so. So I come out. 
I've set the thing again. I'm PDC again. I'm, I'm setting the thing again. Wham. But I'm, now I'll come on a, now I'll come out of prison with a business plan. So now I'm saying, well, now it's all now it's organized. Before it was organizing, but now it's organized to a level where I'm, I'm on another level now. So now I'm organizing the thing properly. Boom. My life, blood, sweat, and tears. It's my pain. I remember that the actual day Tanner's come around you know, is, is with me I'm saying this is what we're doing now is mad it's my Tep man's new Tep, my Tanner don't know Tep man you get me this bear man come out Tanner don't know them so everyone look at Tanner like wow that's, he has to get introduced against some of the people because they don't know who Tanner is so it's like a reintroduction whatever bum 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 and then once once one it was summer was up was in town now it was summer 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 day now boom Tanner's come out of the car and he's come out of the car with with two with, with, with a couple men we met in jail Q Dizzy and face and boom boom he said to me like well old trade you get me he said to me like well it's, it's an old trade we're gonna do old trade and i'm saying well, what's old trade fam he's like well it's the old trade you get me so i'm saying well i'm not really on that you get me i'm not really on all that like, i'm real everyone knows how i am I'm, I'm always i'm up front i'm like well what's that i'm not on that i'm on i'm just pdc forever like i'm doing now i'm just always pdc like regardless whether it's good or shit or good i'm pdc so i'm saying well we're pdc boom he's like all right cool boom 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 and when he started doing his old trade thing it's kind of like I saw a lot of like it's like people shifting. Some people that didn't, some people that weren't really getting that much love on in PDC as well, kind of shifted over to um, old trade and it kind of then Shaq, Shaq done CFR, um, Shaq done CFR. Who also doing stuff? Shaq done CFR. Kind of done old trade. There was piff going on. It's like there was when everyone saw like there was old trade. Everyone thinking, well, you know what? I can do my thing as well. Then I just everyone started thinking that it was bosses and everyone wanted to do their own thing and it's cool. I'm one of the people like, well, it's cool. Let's let's all let's all do our own things then, and let's well, let's just do it together. Mm -hmm. I say to you, but let's just all do it then. So there was a time when I was trying to get everyone together and trying to do it, but it just didn't seem that man didn't start not liking that man and yeah. this man don't like me, and it's like so I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do PDC stuff. So like, fuck it, and then that's that's kind of where the the diversion kind of came with yeah. with the the PDC thing. So out of one came many. So it was all from PDC, and then. I just started seeing crews everywhere, like green, blue, bandanas, yellow. Then it started going up towards Fort Neath and Peckham and Croydon, and then mm. everyone just started going mad. And I'm like, this is gone mad. It started getting fake. Like I see people bare mad youths like coming out of places talking about they're greasy and that. I'm like, right, this this is not what this is not what the plan was. This is this has gone fake. I'm saying to you, yeah. so I, I, just, I was not, I was just wasn't in it. So a lot of people must have thought, right, Judge thinks it's too big now because. He's not really showing no one no love, but I just wasn't in it with a lot of these, all this, a lot to this day. I, I always told Tana, all that bandana shit, I'm not involved in it, I don't like it. I don't, I'm not in it, I've never been in it. When you just come to me with a bandana, I'm like, well, move from me that, man. That's, that's some joke thing, that's some mad, I, I wasn't in it. And that's, it's just real, I'm saying to you. It's not like I'm saying, well, what he's doing was my, so I say, well, you, I hope what you're doing is successful. But I just don't, I'm not really on it. Mm. That's what it was, I'm saying. So in your mm. opinion, what did you feel about what he mm. done with old Trey? the way that the actual old Trey got took over on the roads and the name was being screamed all over. Yeah, no, that, it was cool, it was, it was cool, but that's not all. See, see what I was saying here, we've already come from a road angle and we've yeah. been through prison and bad things and I'm saying, well, we've seen what that does. That, that road just doesn't, all that does is everyone gets locked up, everyone, bad, bad people start dying. Mm. That's all that does, nothing comes out of that. So I'm saying, well, that's not progressive. I'm trying to make some millions right now and build some things and let's, and let's move forward. We've done that. So yeah. why am I doing that again? When it comes to PDC, I'm more than a part of the shit. It's bang bang, Mr. Nintendo, I started the shit. Seeing to the fact that you were strongly mm. behind the mm. fact that PDC mm. is the label mm. that's going to do it, and the fact mm. that he's now gone over to Old mm. Trade, did you and him ever have mm. any sort of words regards that yeah. situation? Yeah, we had me and Nintendo words. We spoke. We, but see, I mean in words like words against each other. Yeah, me, me, me and Tanner had arguments. Me and Tanner had arguments, yeah. but we had brother, it's like brother arguments. Yeah. But we told people, that they always like, oh, but, well, what is it? I'm saying, well, me, if I don't, no one don't come to me and tell me anything about Tanner. Like, I've always been like, no, oh, I heard Tanner this, well, fuck, but fuck, you don't come to me and tell me nothing. Like, when I see Tanner, he can tell me himself. Mm. Like, you don't tell me nothing, or that person don't like me, tell him to come and see me. I'm like that, so forget all that. But Tanner used to, we and Tanner spoke on the phone and it was, we had a lot of ups and downs. We were like, well, bro, bro, shut you now. We, me and Tanner have had that. Mm. Like, it's not no problem. Like, we allowed to do that because we're brothers. Yeah. Brothers, real brothers like that. Me and Nadja have had bust ups. Yeah. You're allowed to. You, this is what brothers do. So we're allowed to have our little shouts on the phone. Shut you now. 
your pussy and yeah. re, 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 re. Tana were like, shut up, you what? Like we had that. Like it's not a thing. Like we're allowed to do that. It's yeah. not. It's not no problem. I'm saying to you, that's cool. So we've had those kind of um, discussions. And we've also had as when we started getting a bit older. Like there was, I think there was like in around say around three, three, four years ago. Me and Tana had a phone conversation, a proper conversation, like. No hostility, just talking, and it was all good. Like, well, like, bam, bam, bam. He said what he had to say. I said what I had to say. Bam. I'm sticking by what I had to say. <laughs> he still knows up to this day. I'm still PDC all the time. I'm like, yep, you should stay with PDC. And PDC is what it is that's gonna make a change in our community, in our hood, and for everyone. Straight. That's always my thing. Straight. All we care about is designer clothes and hoes. Who's hot on YouTube and who's got the best flows? Bragging about chains, whips and cars. How could anybody in PDC see Tanner as a pagan? Because, yeah, they, they could, because they've, they've seen, they, you, you can see, see someone that's looking from the outside and looking in. They're looking at raw, judging them what was building something, and Tanner just breezed off and started some red gang thing. Like, raw, what's that about? Like, looks a bit, you don't know. Because remember, I'm one of those people, yeah? I'm not, I wasn't running around saying, oh, Tanner's this, and I was on that. I was just carried on doing it. So people are looking like, raw, Jaja ain't say nothing, but raw, come on, has moved over there, like, that looks a bit snaky. But that's what they can think what they want, I'm saying. But that's that, if they, if they think he's a pagan, that's, that's their thing. I just see that, right, he just made a decision that he wanted to do his own thing. And so you yourself didn't think that he was a pagan? No, I'm not a pagan. I, Pagans come, that's the new word. So at that, that yeah. time, I, there was what, what was it more like a, a snake? Yeah. Was a snake move. I, was, I looked at it as raw, well, he, he'd let me down. Yeah. That's what I looked at it as. Like raw, well, he let me down because he, he should have been having my back more. He's the one that we started it, so we should be going full back together. Yeah. That's all it was, like that standard. And then after, he, that, that, was, that lost in my head for around a year. Then after that, it was gone. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about it no more. But like two years ago, mm -hmm. you and Naja mm -hmm. done a five in the mm -hmm. booth. And what I'll mm -hmm. say is it was a pain mm -hmm. in the booth. Because mm -hmm. both of you mm -hmm. spit some real yeah. truths. Yeah. And the bars mm -hmm. were fire. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it, mm -hmm. Naja mm -hmm. said that mm -hmm. everyone wants to know mm -hmm. if Tanner is still a pagan. Yeah. They're asking if it's cool or a pagan still. <laughs> We all still don't know the answer to why yeah. he would say that. Yeah, because he's he's look he 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 felt he felt see like nudging them like a lot of them they grew up they, they look at Tana as a big brother growing up so you're looking at it as like raw that's kind of disrespectful like where how you just bounce at that like they're looking at it as that's kind of funny and then he was there's also other things that was going on like in the background like this here saying this man was saying this and that was saying that so there's a lot of things that wasn't hasn't really been spoken about I'm saying to you me and Tana spoke about certain things but. A lot of them, there were still things that wasn't still cleared up. But get me, there's a lot of rumors going around from that angle and that angle, and a lot of seemed like snaky stuff. But when you don't, when see me, I look at stuff like this. You know, I heard, I heard a lot of stuff come from every angle, from loads of different corners. But I saw, I saw you, and you didn't say anything to me. You just said hello, so like, it's cool. So that's that's why no one's not pagan to me because I'm saying well, like if I see if I hear that raw well, the hardest is this in general, like, are you saying this? But when I see you like raw, well, well, I'm like raw, well, what's good? You're like well, yeah, how's the family? I'm, I, I'm good, like I'm good. So now all those things are gone. I'm saying well, I saw him. He didn't say like that, so it's cool. So it's not a problem. And like, that's how I look at everyone. So no one, I got beef with no one because yeah. I've seen everyone. And many occasions, so there's no beef with yeah, anyone. That one's on nothing. Exactly, so I've never had a problem with them. That's why you've never heard me say anything because I'm saying, well, I've got no beef because I've seen everyone. So if they got beef with me, it's funny beef because I've seen you on many yeah, occasions. You, you haven't done anything, so it can't be beef. Mm -hmm. So that's so that's why there's never been, that's why I always said, if you look at interviews, I say there's never no beef. I said, no, it's not a problem. We've had disagreements, and we're, because we're brothers, we're allowed to have disagreements. Yeah. You feel me? Yes, that's 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 that. From Brooklyn to Brooklyn, back now to PIA. Real niggas see shit my way and understand me. If you get some money, nigga, then who your gang be? Can we not forget that Tanner obviously has got something about him mm. to be able to be the leader of two different gangs, and both of them have had more, mm. should I say, mm. widely mm. Um, known about him mm. than any other gangs. Mm. Because old Trey mm. is still mm. shouted about in mm. many parts yeah. of London, yeah. same as PDC. Yeah. So we should give him his respect for that, should we not? Yeah, if, 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 if you're if you're if you're a bad boy and you like badness and you like that that kind of thing, gangs and that, then go go due to you. That's of course, of course. That's not like if you're on that, that's that's cool. That's not a problem. Like there's 
That's hundred percent because he remember you got remember yeah, PDC is unique, organic, organic, and Tanner came from PDC, so that's organic. So he has an organic setup in his head already. Like he understands the game. He hasn't come from like he didn't come from like no soggy cloth. He's come from he's come from a real background. Whether he was hard, he wasn't hard then, but he was come from a, a, that that serious background. So he knows he's come from Hansworth. Hansworth alone. Birmingham alone was on some things from long time. I saw, I saw, my, I saw matches like in Brum long time ago. When I come to London, I didn't see that much matches. When I was in Brum, I saw loads of matches. So we've already come from that. So he's come from a, a serious cloth already. So he knows the setup already. So he can do that. If, if I wanted to right now go and set up gangs, I could do that all day long and be and match some notorious gangs. Mm. But I, I, that's not bum business. I'm not on all that. So if if you're saying that raw. How how was he able to do that? Of course he can do that because he's come from a uh, background of that nature. So he can, he can do that. Of course, hundred percent. Even me, I was lost too. Got caught up in the blazing. Four or five on my waist. The girls are like, ain't he amazing? Instead of teaching the kids about education and saving, the outside with the lipstick and makeup, every day raving. When he got attacked by the youths from Peck, fam, like, what see, you feel? fam, see in the streets here, yeah, you can take an L. At any moment, a L is a loss, fam. See out here, you can get shot, stabbed any moment. I've seen real killers get robbed, real killers get shot, rushed, beat up. That don't mean that they're not killers, or that don't mean that they're not real no more. That just means that you got caught slipping on that day. Yeah. That doesn't mean nothing. Like that don't mean nothing. I don't look at no one different because they got rushed or nothing. Are you mad? Yeah. Like you're mad. I know some serious men that got beat up. I know some cis men on road that are serious. Gone John got knocked out by a paddy you. Mm. And does that, does that, what, after he got knocked out, I'm not gonna say, oh, he's a dickhead now. No, he just got knocked out. Like, that's what, you can have a fight. Tyson got broke up better times. Does that mean Tyson's not a champ? Mm. That's what I'm saying to you. Like, Muhammad Ali got beat up a couple times. Does that mean he's not a champ? That doesn't mean, that don't matter. Like, you can, you take L's. It's a, it's a minor. So that, that was that like, why he got caught slipping. Bam. It is what it is. So, woo, he talking that shit that you won't do. Just know that I can catch you when I want to You don't know how my dogs do When that situation happened, mm -hmm. you put something cap on the net mm -hmm. And it was to the fact of this is what happens to pagans No, I said karma, I think I said something like karma Yeah, to yeah, pagans karma. or something Yeah, yeah, so, so karma So he was hurt that yeah. you would do that to him you get, but That's not that's not hurt, that's like right at the time he was doing other stuff as well Like he was doing certain things, so I'm saying right If you're living a life, that's what happens this is what I say to you, it's not easy, you, you have to accept the life that you're living. Mm. That's what I'm saying to you, you can't be mad. So this is what happens in life, like this is what happens when you live in that life, that bandana or rude boy life, whatever, and you get beat up, you get beat up. Mm. That's, that's part of the life. You can't complain, you can't be mad if someone says why you got rushed. If even people laugh, you can't be mad, because this is the life we're living. Mm. If you're a drug dealer and you're, getting, you're, you're selling drugs and you get robbed and people laugh at you, then why well, you're a drug dealer, that's what happens, you get robbed. Mm. It is what it is. And that's just, it's just real. At the time, at that time when that happened, I didn't even like Tanner them times there. But it wasn't even a thing like raw, it was a dish, it was a beef. It was just like raw, I've voiced my opinion. I'm allowed to voice my opinion. He's voiced his opinion about me many times as well. So I've voiced my opinion. It wasn't nothing big. It was just at that time, I think it was Facebook as well, wasn't it? Facebook status, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So, yes, I, yeah, so I, 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 I wrote one of my normal, outspoken, Facebook, I'm known for that. Everyone knows. I judge, I don't give a fuck. I will, if I got something on my mind, I would just say it. Mm. Like straight at that time, at that point, I probably was feeling down and I probably just spoke my mind straight and that's it. So that's, that's it. So him knowing what we've been through and knowing that the situation, you can't be mad because you're saying, well, me and Judge ain't even on that vibe like that at that time. So mm. only years, only when we had a proper conversation was years after that. Like this was like, mm. about like three, four years ago. I said, you're, that time you're talking about, that was way, that was before yeah. you went in jail and everything, innit? Yeah, so this my way long for that. After that, we spoke on about that. Like, I think he mentioned that to me as well yeah. on the phone. Yeah, we spoke about it on the phone. But that's the it is what it is. I'm saying it wasn't. It was. I don't, I'm not one of people that's gonna come on here and like, say, "Yeah, fam, you know why?" Mm. No, I don't take that. No talk. That's just like that's that was the time I was feeling at the time. You get yeah. me? Yeah, and we didn't even spoke about it. So it is what it is. I was living off finance just to impress, running around lost with guns and a bulletproof vest. Can't you see? They love us being dumbass fogs. When really we can communicate with the stars above. Every PDC fan who is a real fan wants to know this. Mm. Will Jar Jar give us one more freestyle and one more official video with Tanner? 
for the real fans, not for the views, <laughs> not for, the for where they go, <laughs> for the fans of the PDC. Fans. We want to see both of you in front of mm. the camera doing a freestyle and doing a video. Yeah, Will you do that? Yeah, you might see that because... No, we don't want the money. Here, 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 it's real things, it, it might be, like, I have to think about that. But I'll say to you now, you might, that's not a no, that's like, it might be. We have to, minimum, we'll talk about that, you get me? It's not, it's not, it's not like a no, because that, get me? As business wise, no, I'm a businessman, no? I'm a businessman, no? So, anyway, as business wise, that's good. And fan wise, you, it's good, it's cool, because there's not no problem to not do that. So, it's not, it's, it's, business wise, that's a good move. We could do that. I'll say to you, when the, when, if, if I think it's a good time and right time, we could do that. Because I'm more going on the business road now anyway. I'm not really focused on the music as much. I'm, I've always been, I've never really taken the music as seriously as everyone else. I've more been the guy with the big mouth that's trying to push for something for everyone else. Everyone knows that. Like, I'm not the best rapper in the world, you get me? I'm just judger. And everyone kind of, that's why I think people like me for being me. I'm not, not the greatest rapper in the world, but I'm just cool with it, you get me? I just talk what I can, and do what I can when, I, when I'm ready. Yeah. Me, so yeah, but you, you never but know. So you know, we do want you to give us that. Yeah, you might come, might come in the future. Because I've been living my life in the dark for a long while. Growing up in poverty, I had to be a strong shot, putting on a fake smile and acting like it's all good. Uh, he's got, he's got the case thing now. He's got the um, the rape charge thing. Here, what it is now? Yeah, people, everyone's going mad. The the rape. He was, a, he was a innocent with his girlfriend. You feel me? Yeah. So it's his girlfriend, and I don't really know. The ins and outs of it, so I'm one of the people I can't really go into detail on yeah. what's happened. Get me? I don't really know. I haven't, I haven't spoke to DV. Yeah. See me, I'm like that. I haven't spoke to him. Yeah. So I'm just like, what? Do he, I don't think he, it's not like rape as how people think it's rape. It's yeah. Just, when you do certain things and, and you, there's violence involved and then you have sex, they automatically do the rape thing. Yeah. I'm saying, so I don't think he, he looked like, like the movie, when you know we see rapes and like, it wasn't like that. I'm saying to you, so I think people are going a bit mad with it. I've got like a, um, I've got Cha Indigo Youth Charity where I work with young people like mentoring their music. I do it here, I do music um, workshops here. I go around, I, I, go, I travel around the country doing um, stuff with young people. Not as much that no more, but I was into it hard. I still get funding for some projects where I help a lot of young people. So they've got the thing, you know, they sent it to me saying, yo, Mr. Kerr, what's happening? That's my name, Elijah Kerr. Because it, Mr. Kerr, what's happening? I'm saying, wow, they're saying, this is one of your colleagues here, this, this, this is not your brother. Like, I'm like, wow, and I was like, they're seeing that, you no, know? they're, they're seeing, they're seeing the Daily Mail clip, and they're like, I'm like, oh, peak. So they're saying, you know what, in order to continue getting funding, we, we have to disassociate you with, 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 with that person that's on your label, because he's, he's on your label, you're managing it. They thought I was managing, I was I'm not managing it. Mm. It's my brother that I mentor, you get me? But they're saying, well, you need to disassociate him to keep getting funding for these other young people. So I'm like, raw peak. So do I let down the whole of young kids mm. that we're working with? Or, or do I just have to say, raw, DV, raw, just lose the fund and say, raw, just stick with DV, get me so I'm saying, well, you know what else I'll do? I'm gonna put out a statement. Not dissing DV, but just making sure everyone know that I'm not agreeing with what, what that charge was. But I have to do this in for the for the for our young people to make sure they know that raw, this is not what we're pushing. You feel me? So that's so a lot of people must have saw that for raw. Oh, how come judges disassociated from DV? Like they don't understand, you get me? But after they people clicked on that, oh, I remember he does a mentor thing, he has to do that. So people understood why afterwards, you get me? Like yeah. oh, when you're doing business, you have to do that. You have to disassociate yourself from anything that of those extreme natures, whether it's guilty or not. And we're not, that's not what we're representing. My soul's right and I'm close to Jana, but cold nights make me all my ammo, my heart's burning. Is everything good with you and Devious? Yeah, Devious is my little brother. Yeah. Devious is my little brother. And it's the same thing with Tanner now. We're going back in this. So here what is it? See, Devious is my brother. So here what is now? He's always my little brother. Like, I've had his back all the time. And we do things that we say music wise as well. Like, you, everyone's seen me and Devious pushing hard. Mm. Like, pushing hard. Devious, Devious has held up. People, even now, like, because Devi's got his little case right now, people are like, like, trying to diss Devi in that way. But it all seems to Devi has held Brooks on his back for long. He's been helped keeping Brooks on the map for a hot minute. And he has done a lot for Brooks. So, man can't music man has to show him his ratings. And saying to you, like, yeah. straight, Devi's put, like, the Brooks on the map and he's made the world know about Brooks. Yeah. Standard. Like, everyone, no one can't take that from Devi, like, straight. Me and Devi, he's my, he's my little brother. I'm saying to you, I don't agree with everything he does. Yeah. But we're brothers, regardless. I'm, I'm like that. I'm one of those people that I, I, I will voice my opinion, and sometimes people won't like it. But it don't mean I don't love my brother. Like you might hear me say something about Nadji, like Robert, that's your brother. So 
So what are you trying to say? I can never talk bad about my brother? Are you mad? But, uh, but I'm not a yes man, you know. I'm, I'm, if I see something wrong, I'm going to say it's wrong. But you're still my brother, though. I still love you. And if you want to fight me, we can fight. And then we can shake hands and go and have something to eat afterwards. I say to you, it's not a problem. And that's just how, I, that's how I've grown up. Mm. So it's not a thing. But that's, that's, that's how, me and Dee is cool. Dee is my brother. I love him to death. So, so we want to know from the outside, if everything is cool mm. with you and Devious. Mm. What need was there for one hour of management where bikers started to manage Devious? Yeah, I, I, do you know what is Why would that come do around? Do you know what is, is, no, is, this is funny, no? Do you know what is it? Do you know I've never managed Devious? People assume that I've managed Devious. I've never managed Devious, no? Devious, no, but no, listen, listen, listen. I've never managed Devious. What I've done, I've more like, Devious has been like my little brother. I've mentored Devious throughout most of his career. Just mentored him. It's like a mentor. I say to you, Devious has, me and Devious have had no. Like we've, 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 we've had like um, sign agreements for certain music things like that, but no like signings or management stuff, nothing like that. Just, just like normal royalties where I give him his royalties and all that. That's, just, that's it. And I've just mentored him and given him advice and given him links over the years. Like it's just a mentor, like my little brother. Yeah. Like, that's all I've done. All the men that I've been around, it's like a mentor. I've mentored them. Yeah. No, no signing, no nothing. Just mentored. Love, out of love. I'm saying to you, so that's all it is. So bikers come out. Biker's my brother as well. Love Biker to death. So he's come out and he he's he's now on the mind frame of like his biker's gone up around me. So he he's got that same mind frame as well, that progressive mindset. So he's come out and seen that DV could be doing more, which I, everyone knows he could be doing more. But DV that's just DV. He's got his own mindset. He does things when he wants. He releases albums late. <laughs> that's DV. It's like so Biker's come out and said, you know what? I'm gonna get DV back on his game. Mm. And he's done one other management. Bam. He's done that as well. Saying to you, once one, the one all the one other things come more on the biker. Yeah. Saying to you, so biker is if it was someone else, maybe I'd have thought, hmm, that's a bit side managed way he's getting. Yeah. But because biker, biker is my brother. Biker, I love biker on another level. He's like judge. It's mad. The biker's like judge. I'm saying to you, and judge is like biker. We're we're like we're brothers filming, so it's, it's calm. Biker can do something. It's not a problem. I'm saying to you, so. Biker represents what I'm doing, yeah. so it's calm, so it, that was never a problem, so I don't look at nothing like that, so I'm just with it, what, with, what, yeah. what it was going. So on the outside, are we wrong mm -hmm. to think that you being the leader of the musical mm -hmm. entertainment, that you are the manager of everyone, we're wrong yeah. to be thinking yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Not easy, it's because I'm just take everyone just assumes, people look at me as a leader, natural leader. Even when you're saying, even when you, when you say leader, 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 that. Like, I've never, I don't really call myself a leader, I just always call myself, I'm like the main person of PDC, but you, the titles, like now someone will hear you say leader, they'll be like, we're leader, so they automatically think you're a leader, leader in everything, but it's not like that, I'm just, a, I just learned a lot of stuff and I was always way ahead of my time, yeah. I'm saying to you, so I understood about business and stuff like that, so, but I've never managed Divas, I've more mentored him, yeah. it's more been like a mentor process over the years, I've helped him like a big brother, yeah. just, be, just like a big brother, straight, I'm saying to you, like, it's not a problem, I'm saying to you. I remember one time I was low, I must have been, um, I must have been doing like um, the label stuff I was doing. I, I never went bankrupt one time with my company, this was a couple of years back, I was, I was doing everything myself, like struggling, like, bam, I was on my face. Phone DV, get me like, oh, bro, I'm low, bro, I need some, some money, bam, DV, DV must have come to my house within half an hour, with an with, with envelope, you get me, like, the same to you, straight. And see me, I'm one of the people, I always remember stuff like, like real stuff, you get me, like, because I'm, you see what is it, people don't, people think that the, 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 the man in charge is never down. Mm. Fam, I've been down, I'm saying to you, I've been down and, and, and man them have helped me, you get me, I'm saying to you, so, there, there have been times I was down, that was the main time that I remember, we never went bankrupt, this was like, years back, um, and bam, DV come, get me, DV was at my house, boom, envelope, straight, you get me, he's like, yeah bro, big bro, done no, bam, get me, to say to her, we got, that's love, I'm saying to you, that's love straight, dv has been down, I've said, I've called DV, you get me, bro, Bro, he's like, oh, I'm down, no, like, don't worry, I've got some royalties, got royalties for you here, you get me, like, yo, yes, judge, bum. So that's how we are, it's love, yeah. the same is love. I'm hearing this man and that man, telling me that I should roll with this crew and that man, telling me that I should ride with this shoot and that man, but I'm PDC and I'm banging me out for my statue. So in the later years of Devious's career, did he have problems with the other spitters from PDC? Did he actually like any other spitters apart from you yourself? Yeah. Because to be honest, we've seen a lot of tracks from mm -hmm. Devious, we've seen a lot of tracks from Jar Jar, mm -hmm. and the only person from the DV and from the PDC camp that we seem to know could get on a track mm -hmm. with Devious was Jar Jar. Yeah. Why is and 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 Nadja's on the track. Yeah, so yeah. Why is nobody else getting on because tracks with Devious? Devious, that's that's Devious, that's Devious, that's not to do that's just Devious who wants to do tracks with. Devious like that. 
Some say that he got to a point where he, he got a bit big headed. Some of the people saying, well, I can't really contact DV. I'm saying to you, but DV was there. I'm saying that's, the, that's DV. Everyone knows how DV is. That's just DV. Like, if he doesn't want to do a track with you, that's how it is. I'm saying to you. So, yeah. it's but did it's, you see him around the other members and he was still fine with them? Yeah, I've seen him around. Not, not everyone, but everyone, some of them had the disagreements. Yeah, but yeah. He was still, the, main, the main set of men then, he was still around, but he yeah. just wasn't making music with them. Yeah. But he was around them. There was times when DV was around Quinny all the time, but they, they didn't make a track. Yeah. But they was around each other all the time. I'm saying to you, so I don't know why they didn't make a track, but it is what it is. I'm saying to you, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I'm saying to you, and, and DV was also, there was a time, when he got to a time when he was also, very flamboyant and flossing and and he was he's, that's DV. DV's that guy. DV will make you you see DV and you wanna go buy a new pair of trainers or something. That's DV <laughs> like that. He makes trying to say, well no, I'm gonna buy a new pair of trainers or I'm gonna buy he just got he's got that thing about him, I'm saying so certain men that was still doing their little hustles and that, it was they were we were in the same kind of time frame, you feel me? So yeah. that's what it could have been as well. DV was in that world, you're in that world. Yeah. So it's not the right time. So, yeah. Yeah, so people have to look at things like that as well. It's not always what you're thinking. It's like, well, a man's got problems. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, it's just like there's other issues going on. You feel me? Okay, yeah, so let's it. get into London Boy, American Dream. Yeah. That has got to be the most widely accepted mm -hmm. project ever to come out of PDC mm -hmm. or one other. Mm -hmm. Why would nobody else from PDC get at least one track mm -hmm. on that to push them forward to people that only knew Devious? Because to be honest with you, you being Jar Jar, you being Jar Jar, we expected yeah. you to push people into yeah. that project. Yeah, no, uh, uh, with that one, DV, DV kind of done that on his own back. Like, so I wasn't even involved in that project at all. Nah, yeah, I, I weren't involved in that project at all. Like, obviously, you were still come and check me now. Like, we, yeah. me and DV called each other. Like, DV was phoning me. Like, boom, 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 get me for advice or whatever, but I wasn't really involved in that project. He was working with some other people. Um, I think he had a, that one was Universal. I think there was Universal was involved in that project. So it was more kind of commercial. Yeah. Where a lot of the men, they remember saying, lot of, I was more, I, no, that's it, I remember now. That, that, remember, I was doing my spoken word thing. Yeah, so I was more going on a spoken word route, doing my yeah. thing. And a lot of the other men, they weren't really making music that much. It was like, they, was, they was doing their own things, people having kids and whatnot. And Divi was kind of in a new world as well. You feel me? So that's kind of that was kind of it as well. It wasn't it wasn't like no hostility thing. So people might look at think, "Wow, the problems that it was just like, "Wow, everyone is living their own life yeah. and think they're adapting to like the new growth in their life." And Divi was just in a new world yeah. around new people. I'm saying to you, so. But what did that, you yourself think when it dropped after it started getting a whole load of publicity? I liked it because it And there was a chance that you even yourself could have been on that. No, I, I, no it is with me, yeah. I'm not, my mind don't think like that. So yeah. see, so see when you're, you're even saying that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to dig deep my thoughts to think, well, how, I, I wasn't even thinking like that. Mm. So I don't think bad mind like that. So I'm thinking, well, this is big because the more DV gets out, the more everyone, it helps everyone. Yeah. That's the thing, whether you're on the stuff or not, the awareness, is on everyone. Yeah. So when DV was going, remember, so say for instance, when London Boy American Dreaming came out and DV was, he was blowing up, I was getting bare bookings for poetry stuff. Yeah. People were looking at me and saying, well, well, we can't book DV for this, but we can book Jaja because yeah. he's doing this kind of stuff. So my bookings went up as well. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. So if you're prepared at the time, if DV goes like, makes a number one, they're going to come and look for other stuff. Yeah. And they're going to look and so someone that see DV on in the, in the mainstream will look and say, well, who's this person? Well, that Birdie, I like Birdie. And click onto his stuff. Well, that Nigel, I like him. And then Nigel's gained the extra 20,000 fans. Yeah. I've gained the extra, like, so it helps everyone. And yeah. that's how I look at things. I don't look at it like, well, mm, no one on it. I didn't even yeah. look at that. Like, I look at it like, well, you know what? DV's DV. DV is that guy. Sometimes he might forget himself, but he's still got love for everyone. DV's been flying the flag for everyone for long and it's also, there's a lot of pressure as well on him as well to do stuff. Everyone's like, DV, you should do this. There's a lot of pressure. So, we have to take that into account as well. Yeah, in the you. later years of mm. Devious's career, he wasn't screaming people. He wasn't, no, he wasn't. He was, he was more, he was more on he the was one, -arter. one -arter thing. And, yeah, and, why is that? And because that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to do the one other thing and, and that's what everyone, he got a taste. Everyone gets a taste, yeah, of doing their own thing. Yeah. Everyone gets that. And this is, it's just life. I'm still learning, vigilant as ever though. You're a dance, sweet snake, you ain't 
very clever, bro. What do you think to the fact that out of the whole of the PDC crew, mm. and there was nobody in the crew that can't spit, mm. everybody had their different kind of fire, how did it end up that you and Devious are the only ones that are carrying any sort of internet fan base? Because we put in the work. You, you got to put the work in. And that's what I'm saying to you. So you, you have to put work in. You can't... This is what you got to remember, yeah? See when PC first came out? See when we first came out? I was pushing PDC. Mm. I was doing the... Mo behind the push was me. Bring the stuff to the record shops. Doing all, I was doing that. I was doing everything. When we said that shows, I organised that. They was for, I was organising it. I'm the push. So when everyone went their own way, I'm doing that same push for myself. Mm. And then DV wants help, so I'm pushing DV with that same help as well. So that's what it is. And no one else was making music. Mm. Everyone else kind of backed down and got caught back up into the street stuff. And I remember a couple of men went in jail. Mm. And so me and DV was pushing the music. We just continued pushing music. And that's yeah. what it was. That's what it was. We just continued. And that's it. Nadge didn't make music for long. That's why. So his kind of thing slowed down. But he still had a fan base. And who else was around? Quinny, went, Quinny, Quinny didn't make no music for long. And he went jail. Quinny went jail again. Um, and then who else was there? So that's just it was between between all the music. My man's going in jail. Man's got family issues. Friends are dying. A bad yeah. things are happening. So you got me. And that's what people seem to forget. Man. We was involved in real street issues as well. So yeah. there's things that happen on a deep level, like friends are dying and it's, it's deep. It wasn't just like, wow, some mad, it was real. This is where they didn't, PDC has been involved with real life situations. Yeah. At, all up to, to now. Yeah, but as much as that's 100% true, Jar Jar mm. still found a way to fill yeah. up, uh, should I say, fan base. Yeah. Devious mm. still found yeah. a way to build up mm. the fan base. How did the others not? Because they, they, they don't push, you know, if you don't, if you don't push, push what, what's the, what do people say? Consistency. Mm. If you don't keep up with the consistency, yeah, you're going to fade away. And that's what it is. DV was just consistent. He was consistent. When he wants to be consistent, he was dropping out a mixtape, bam, 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 bam. Then he would fall off a little bit. But when he come back, he come back hard again, boom, boom, boom. Mm. And that's what it is. And there was a time when Quinny don't like, Quinny don't like cameras and all that. Quinny's a, a man, he was, Quinny don't like the fame thing. Yeah. Quinny's a man, he, but he, he, he will rap, he will make a bad boy mixtape. Yeah. He's not really on all the too much videos and interviews and he'll be like, well, Jad, you just do that. I'm saying to you, most of them will be, I like that, they're like, well, Jad, let Jad just do that. Yeah. Jad talks better than most, but let, let Jad do all that. He knows what to say and he, whatever Jad says, we're with him. Yeah. So that's, that's what the man have always been. So when you see shows and you see we'll just judge there, the man may come in, man will say, no, 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 that's Jad do that. Jad can, Jad talks to all of us, we got his back. Mm. Saying, so the people that are with me now, they, whatever I say, they have my back. I say to you straight. I say to you so like, like Maddox has been with me the whole time. Mm. So you just you, this, if you see interviews, Maddox is with me. And that's like he knows how to speak as well. So when I was doing all the book stuff and that, Maddox when I went on tour and the prison tours and that, Maddox was with me. The whole way. Maddox and Birdie was with me at everywhere I went. Mm. They were with me all the way. I'm saying to you. And everyone else was doing other things so they couldn't come. That's what it is. So it's never no hostility, it's just like well, you know what, everyone's doing their own things. Yeah, simple. So what did you think when Devious came with a phrase, fuck the olders? What was your opinion on that situation? Yeah, but he, he, was, he was making that when he was around me. He yeah. Wasn't, he, he wasn't talking about fuck me. He was no, about, no, I'm saying yeah. about fuck olders. Yeah, he was what about, was you they, thinking on that? You guys, they got that from me. I, well, I, felt, I, I was the first one that started saying that. So you felt that was the yeah. thing to go for? No, no, with. no, that was the time. I, what it was, yeah, I've said that about some of the olders that I knew. Yeah. And, and some of the olders that- Devious really pushed that. Yeah, but so what happened, so here what is now, yeah. One of my old first mixtapes, the PDC ones, I used to, I was saying fuck olders and that, like, I'm talking about some of the big men and that, I just thought it was washed up. And like, well, like, you, st you, st you still want people to, to um, rate you. Like, say for this, this, what, this, this, you know what that term comes from, yeah, where it comes from, yeah. See what you have, you have these old school bad boys that, a man would have punched someone in the face in 1992. And in 2015, 16, he still thinks we're supposed to rate him because you punched someone in the face in 1992. Are you a clown? Do you think I'm an idiot? Do you think I care that you punched someone in the face in 1992? Fam, fuck you, fam. I don't care about 1992. We're in 2016, fam. What have you done since then, fam? See, if you're not building and being progressive, fam, I don't care about that. You have no relevance to what I'm doing or what anyone else is doing, so... I don't rate no man that does that. And nothing the old school man name was on that. Bro, you don't know who I am. Fam, you punched someone in the face in 1992. 
Are you being serious, fam? Are you mad? Man robbed something in 1993 and you still want me to rate you for that? In, 19, in 2016? Bro, are you mad? You haven't done nothing since then, you know? You haven't got a job, you haven't done nothing, you got your dry lips, dry hands, chatting a bag of shit, and you, you want me to rate you? Bro, fuck you, fam. I don't care about all that. What are you doing now? See, if you're, I'll rate you for what you're doing now. Are you looking after your kids? Are you building? Are you trying to own your house? Are you, have you got a business? Are you mentoring young people? Are you doing something that's progressive? I'll rate you now. And then if you're doing that now, I, I'll rate your past even more. Because now I know that, right, you've you, you come up, you move forward. But don't tell me about one thing and that's all you're going to live off for the rest of your life. And you want everyone, the youngest now, to rate, rate that. So that's what a lot of people was doing. And I kind of said, to that mentality, I was like, fuck the oldest that was on that kind of vibe. Mm. I was like, fuck that, like, can't chat to man. And people underneath me, like Devin and, and the, my little brothers that was coming up, they took to that as well. And they saw that some of the guys in my generation that was the oldest to them, will kind of do the same thing. So they said, fuck the old as well, those olders. Mm. Like, you, you chat to all those young youths, you hear them, none of them will say fuck Jaj, because they know that I've, I've helped bear them. Like, mm. I've helped a lot of them do progressive stuff. I was one of those youths here, I didn't send youths country in that. I didn't do all that stuff. I didn't, I didn't tell bear youths to bang. Like, I wasn't on all that. And every youth that rates me will say, Jaj never done it to us. I was on that. That's why they still rate me now. Because mm. they know the world. Judge didn't try to lock us up. I didn't try to send them to jail or none of that. I didn't send no use country. I put them on to help themselves. Mm. So I was giving man food to giving them. This is yours. Build your, to get it. I got, this is my line. That's your food. Take my line. I'm giving you my line. You can take the line two hours and do your thing. And, and here, this is how you do your money. Out of the food money, you put this down, you do that with that, you put that down. I'm giving them strategies how to stack their own, their own money. Nothing to do with me, no. That's all it is. So they know, no one can say, well, people shot him for me for like, a, I think the longest man will say, well, shot him for a judge for like around four months and he put me on. Straight. Mm -hmm. They said no one country, nothing, I put everyone on. That's why a man never got ratings for me. And that's what it was. So the other olders wasn't doing that. A lot of the olders, you know, back in the days, were trying to bully a lot of the young youths. So, they did to my oh man should respect man fam respect to you he's the bully he tried to bully a bag of man no one even tried to bully me cause I wasn't having it cause I was from Birmingham so this one it was a lot this is another thing yeah see a lot of the older men then from Brooklyn especially I wasn't I've come from Birmingham I've, my oldest in Birmingham were a crew called Inchise that broke off and eventually turned to Burgers and Johnnies so I had I come to London not giving a fuck about those old old and, and certain names that people are screaming about like, I don't know you. So you don't mean nothing to me, because I don't know who you are, like, you're just that guy, you're just the guy I'm looking at now. So you don't look scared to me, you're just like a normal guy, so I'm taking you for that face value. So, a lot of the olders didn't like me because I wasn't scared of them. Because why am I going to be scared of before? I don't know, you don't mean nothing to me. 28s and all that didn't mean nothing to me, or untouchables, or, I, I just heard about it. So I'm saying, so it didn't mean nothing to me. I just started growing up and learning and meeting people, I started having more respect for them, because I started knowing them. I'm saying to you, so... That's where that concept comes from, the fuck the older thing. Not all of them, because some of them are very progressive and are doing things now that yeah. are, like, they're proper, I've got ratings for some of them. And some of the olders used to show me, some of the olders put me on. They didn't try to send me country, they said, well, like my, my big bro Jason Pearman, Rob on them, and them man used to bring me. Like, them man used to, if they did a move, they say, well, you wanna come? You can come with us. And yeah. we're getting, I'm getting, these men are big men, you know, I'm doing moves with the big man, you know, and them men are getting a grand and giving me 500 pounds. Yeah. Half in my face. So I'm looking at them like raw. That's automatic love. Like so, I'm looking at them and like raw. This is a, this is this is real love. They not show me love. They're not trying to like raw because you're little here, hold ten pound. Mm. Then I say no, you too much, Jack. Bomb. That's your thing. Get me. And I'm coming on moves with with them. They they're coming to knock for me and bring me with them, and we're doing it together. You get me? That's the level. That's how they saw. Dude, that's how they have respect for me. Mm. And so I have respect back. And he had some orders that weren't on that. They was on a bad up thing, like trying to bully man. So they, that's where fuck olders come from. Yeah. So it comes from that concept. So it's, that's as real. That's how it goes. Okay, let's get into the free robberies. Obviously, that's for him to talk on. We can't ask you about the, the free robberies, robberies. robberies for Devious. Robber, 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 the free robberies that he had. Oh, well, he got robbed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we yeah. can't talk on yeah. that. That's him to mm. answer. But yeah. we can't ask you. Mm. What did you feel when they was going on? And do you feel like the young guns really was on a thing of getting devious? Because why would it be yeah. three lots of young youths robbing? You know what it was with DV, yeah? Hey, we haven't got to remember about DV, yeah? DV was, in his generation, a little terrorist for some people in his generation down. And he probably did 
bad up a lot of people coming up. So a lot of people had that, a lot of these young youths, their brothers never like DV. So they're hearing their brothers say fuck DV and they've grown up with that mentality. So they have no respect for DV. They look at, you no, know, a lot of these young youths, you know, they look at DV as he's still a young you. They, 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 they're not viewed as that Levy's like 32 or whatever. They look at Levy as like, he looks, he's, he, when he's on his videos with a bag of youngers, the, these youngers that in the videos with him are, are gang, they're on the gang thing as well, and you're with them, so you're on this thing. So they're looking at him like that. So they, when they see him, they're thinking of that, and do, he's got his, he's got his jewels, and, and if we take Levy's jewel, we could we, we get famous, so they're looking at it at that angle. When it first happened, I was like, at L. When it's, when it's the first time it happened at L, second time I'm saying, okay, this L I'm not really happy with because now we just too much L's now. And everything DV does goes on Jadge. Mm. So Jadge takes the L as well. I'm taking the L with all the men you know. Like I take the L. I took the L with Tanner. I took the L with everyone. Everyone that takes the L, my, my name always comes up. I take the L with you. So I'm with you all the way. So I'm, every time DV is getting hit up, me, Baikar, all of us are taking the L's with him. Because everyone's like, what's happening to your man then, man? Like, oh. people from Birmingham and Manchester phone me like, what happened to your man then, man? Like, Jadge, man. Like, you ain't gonna say nothing. Cause see me, I'm not one of those guys that justify things like, oh, watch, I'm gonna kill them, the moon and the stars, and I don't, I'm not on all that. I'm like, raw, an L again. Man took an L. It is what it is. Man's like, raw, cool, judge, bam. I phone DV, raw, brother, you good? He's like, yeah, I'm cool from that, raw, L again. Like, yeah, cool, like, yeah, bam, it would do. Let's make some music, or let's do, rare, rare, rare. No, I'm not gonna come on the camera and talk to him about where, what we was mm. talking, get me, but bam, back to music, boom, boom. Then the third L. I was like, no, the third, fam, see the third L, I was in my rave, I was in, I was in, Port, I was in a poetry event, me, Mr. Play, and Mr. Play said, well, Judge, look, look, what's this? Someone said about DV, you got something happened to him, I'm like, well, I don't like it, I tried to phone him, boom, straight away, his phone's not on, you hear me, I'm like, I'm saying, raw, phone my next bird, I'm saying, raw, um, someone told, said something to DV, he's like, raw, don't like it, boom, I said, raw, I would, if I go on Twitter, Fam, when I went on Twitter, yeah, oh my, fam, I must, I had around 500 ads with these pictures and I'm saying, oh shit, like, not again, you get me, like, fuck. Well, I did get to speak to DV, you get me, boom, this, that's the last time I spoke to DV. Yeah. That's the last time I spoke to DV, he comes to my house, we're chatting, vibing, boom, 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 you get me, I'm saying, raw, you need to take this music thing seriously and, and talking to cut. I'm, I'm, I'm like that, we need to take this to another level, so, because I've always believed DV has that thing to go into the mainstream on like meat meal levels and that. DV has that, he's always had that, I've always seen it in him, like straight from up. Let me tell you like, a little story, when I was in prison, you know, Biker sent me a tape, Biker sent me a tape of, I think, Nadge rapping, DV rapping, Ted Man, fam. I was in my cell, I said, what the fuck, who is this? This is hard. I, I, I phoned Biker, I said, fam, who's that? He's like, yeah, Biker was doing a bag of things on the road, you get me? He's like, yeah, this all got a little cap going on, we're still rapping, you get me? I'm like, yo, so I phoned DV from Joy, you know? I said, fam, when I come out, I'm gonna be working with you, fam. He's like, raw, dude, it's Chad, raw, fam, you get me? That's how it was, it was, it was, it was large street, cause I phoned him, I'm like, raw, and he's a young member. So he's thinking, raw, Chad, you're phoning me. I was like, fam, when we come out, we're gonna do this music thing, don't worry, I'm gonna do the thing properly, PDC, boom, boom. He's like, yeah, I'm on it, boom. For my brother, Naj, I said, fam, is that how you're rapping now? I mean, Naj was, he was little before I went to get me, so I'm saying, what, Naj, is that how you're rapping now? Yo, that's hard, you get me, boom. Then I heard Temp Man, you get me? I said, who the fuck is this bad man? You get me? This is temp the Temptation, I don't need to, I said, what the, what's that? I didn't even know about that style there, you get me? Fam. Them time that was a new sound to me, get me? So I'm saying, raw, that's that's hard. I phone biker like, Ooh, no. So when I come out now, that's the love we had straight away, you get me? So when DV took the last L, I was a smack. I've always seen the potential in DV and Tech Man to go mainstream. I'm saying to you, I think I saw it in them in them more than they saw it themselves. Yeah. I'm saying things. They, I'm all doing certain things. They say, no, judge man, fuck music, man. Music's long, fam. They don't even see it in themselves. I'm see, I can see it though. So I've always had it. So when he took that last L, I was mad from like raw. And these youths were little like little newcoming youths were getting me like, nah fam, I'm pissed. But same thing again, I was saying to DV, see this why we have to do the thing properly and blow fam. Fuck these little youths, cause we can it's a thing like see when you get robbed now, bam. Jay-Z said one time in the line, if I if if 
I shoot you um shameless you no if I shoot you something and you famous. Yeah, if I you shoot yeah. me you're famous, yeah. boom. Yeah. That's the same thing. Mm. We DV can go back and bang, no one will hear about it. But every time that happens to him, everyone yeah. hears about it. Yeah. Then I'm saying, no, nah, that's cold. Cause DV will go back, no, DV will catch man sleeping, punch man up, do his thing, no one hears about it. But when it happens to him, fam, it's, it's news yeah. on them. So that's why I said, you know what, yeah, what? We gotta make this music blow. We gotta come out, come out this place like dead. Let's move on now, and bam, that's always my thing. Yes. PDC, we got the city on lock. Every school, every college, every road, every block, every house, every barbers, every club, every shop. The judges' souls came on. PDC went pop. We have to ask you about one situation regards to robberies. It was the second one. Obviously, we can't say no names on people that ain't rappers. Mm. But the story is that when Devious was in the food shop, he was with two other members of PTC. And both of them ran off and left Devious mm. on his own. No, no, that was a trick. Was it lies, yeah? No, that was a lie. That was lies. That so was he lies. wasn't with anyone? That was lies. Did you hear that was, story? Like, he, was, he was with someone, but he, was, he didn't go like that. Yeah, I heard that story. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was, um, that was, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. Man. Like, he was with the man then. The man then had his back to where they, where they, all they could do. It mm. wasn't like, it wasn't like, well, man, so my man, man ran off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you, there's a whole story behind it, I'm saying to you, don't get into that story, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we just wait. It wasn't, was yeah, it wasn't, it yeah. wasn't like, well, man, run off, that, that's bad, man was there, but to what they could do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to leave that there. We want to just finish up on Devious on the current situation. You fully explained it, so we don't need to go no further. Yeah. But the roles want to know mm -hmm. if, and we hope he never, because like you say, it's between him and his girl. Mm -hmm. We're hoping the story ain't how we've got it. Mm -hmm. But if the story is how we've got it, mm -hmm. what is you and his relationship going to be like when he comes out of there, if he does? Are you still going to be with him? Because in some ways we're saying that that means you're condoning what he's done. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that's what that, that, that's and business wise as well. That's what they're going to be saying as well. Yeah. Business wise, like, right, you're condoning that behavior. So th that's so where you see it as these so things has to be cut so from Jar Jar. That's, that's where it's now. That's what I'm saying to you. So, in a way, it's, it's only cut in a certain way. But as my brother, he's still my brother. I'm saying to you. So, he's, he's, I mean, he was still, I'll never lock off Devious because of that. And I'm saying to you, like, right, he made a bad. A bad decision and a bad choice and a bad he done something that was obviously that's that's not acceptable. Boom. That doesn't mean I'm gonna lock him off. I'm saying to you that nah we've we've come too far, we've been through so much stuff. I and mean, there's been stresses behind the scenes that people don't know about. Like we've yeah. had we've had listen, like we've been through so much, like we've been through hell and back. People don't even know the things that we've been through. Like, I'm saying to you, Dean has been through loads of stuff as well. So yeah. There's a lot of stuff so that I can't just, I won't just cut him off, I know. Deeper than what you don't know. I'm saying to yeah. you, I know there's been a lot of stuff. I'm saying even you made the wrong choice. Yeah, you done something bad, but bam, I still when he comes out, I'm not, I'm not condoning that behavior. I'm not saying I'll be rolling with him every day and be doing that. Yeah, like, but still, I still, yeah, I still, I still, is, I, still yeah. Yeah, I still got love for DV Ricardo. Straight, I'm not. I'm never. People don't get confused. Think I ever condone any kind of behaviors like that from yeah. anyone, from anyone. I'm saying to you, so never that, never that. But it's DV. Me and DV, DV's my brother, so I could see DV and we could have a fight. It's not a problem. I'm saying to you, but I've got love for him as my brother. I'm saying that's it, that's it, so straight. Yeah. This is the last thing on that. Mm. You said on a recent interview and you said today that you haven't had no connection with Devious. Mm. We need to know why, because we officially know, mm. without naming names, that some members of PDC mm. have spoken to yeah. Devious. Why is he not I'm, 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 I don't know, I'm Big Brother Jad. So, I'm Big Brother Jad. So, I'm thinking, so my only thing was like, raw. it could be a thing like, raw. no judge is going to go go in on me, get me? That's all I could think of. Like, raw. no judge is going to be on, he's going to be on my back. That's the only thing I could think of. Because, that's it. There's no other thing. Because you haven't yet, the last time I spoke to him, it was, it was all like, we were chatting, he was at my house. I'm saying to you, so that, that's, that was, this was 2015, the end of summer. I'm saying to you, when that last thing happened, he was in my house chatting, he's come outside, boom, DV come, big new car, now DV is big, bam, bam, I'm saying to you, I'm saying, and, and that's what it is with people, like, even though, he, he, I mean, when he got robbed, like, boom, he was back to DV, like, in, within, like, three hours, that's, he's, he's like that, that's his thing, though, that's what, I don't agree with all that, but that's how he does his thing, get me, and he was like that, pull up my house, big car, boom, boom, and we were chatting, vibes in, chatting, and that's the last time I spoke to him, I'm saying to you, I didn't speak to him again, so I don't, no, if he's if he's if he's thinking that raw, he didn't want to 
call me in because he was maybe like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be onto him, and then or maybe he saw that I said certain things online. And he thought after that, he thought I'm definitely not following him now. Fuck it, and now you got an excuse to say, well, fuck Judge anyway. So I don't think it's that either. But either way, don't matter. It's cool. Cause I still got love for him. So me and DV for everyone. I still got love for DV. Always will. Don't agree with certain things, but. I still got his back, regardless. Yeah. Then that's it is what it is. It's so fabulous, my brother. No force and cold rock, a cold soul. I'm saying, yeah. The young girl with the OG glow, the OGs know I'm so sincere. Why did Shaq Kulian leave PDC in your eyes? Um, Shaq's one was there was oh, there was, there, was, there was a quite a thing. I think Shaq one there was people getting into his head as well, and also there was thing. Shaq's one was mainly to do with his brother. His brother's my best friend. Yeah. Blacker. Like me and, my, me and Solomon, that's what that's my that's, that's like my right hand man, like like my proper brethren, like my brother, like another level. I'm saying to you, so we grew up on like the the black holes a, a, a you that like a, a, like he was around and he always went to do stuff and I was already I was advanced as a young youth. I was already doing <laughs> robbing and bagging yeah, so yeah. I kind of brought black on board with me like this one this one. I kind of show I show black on the ropes with into like the whole money making robbery world. I showed him the ropes and saying the meaning he was just tight and mm. Blacker was a money guy. He was like a street devious. His dress code was like head to toe, Marsh Versace, like always looking sharp, you get me? Boom. I'm saying that um, he all ended up um, having a, a, a child with my cousin, I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to you, it was his proper family, like it's, it's deep, like our families are all inconnected and all, and all sorts, you feel me? So when he passed away, when he passed away, bam. Everyone was, there was a big rumor, oh, Judge killed his brethren, everyone's on the scene, like, Judge killed Black or Rere, like, two rumors that was happening before, we had a little fallout before, but not a major. It's just like, say me and Tanner who was having a little disagreements and then Tanner dies. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, Judge, it must be Judge, yeah. because Judge and Tanner fell out. So it has to be Judge, because they were close and Judge is serious and Tanner's serious, so it had to be Judge. And that's the same thing happened, like, oh, we had a little fallout, so boom, and then that kind of cause, that was the stem of it. I'm mm -hmm. saying to you, that was a stem of it, even though obviously I'll never kill my brother, but that was a stem of it, boom. Um, with the, the time when he died, because the, the, um, people, people really thought I killed my friend, so I, it, was a, it was a big thing, it was like a no, little thing. So obviously, when, at the time when he died, I had a um, big police chase up in Norwood, big police chase, helicopter and everything, and I crashed my bike. And I'm, I'm right outside B&Q, and then he died on my bike, my motorbike, R6, brand new, boom. Uh, everyone knows I always love my bikes. So I'm riding my bike, crash up. I was in hospital and he, when he died, get me feds come there and everything. Scotland Yard, my thing, round there. They, so I, I had feds at, at the hospital for what they was chasing me for. And I had some next feds come saying, raw, your best friend Solomon just died. And we're here, it was you, but I'm saying, but they're saying, raw, it can't be you because you're here. So I'm saying, exactly. So I've woken up, you know, then time my arms busted, my pelvis is messed up, I got, I'm mashed up and I'm, I've got feds here, I'm, I'm chained to the bed. I'm saying to you, bomb. But anyway, that was the kind of thing. There was loads of rumours going on after that. And a lot of people got to me, Shaq was like my little brother as well. I'm saying to you, Shaq's my brother as well, same thing. We're, our families are connected, so it's like we're family. So it's, it's, it's deeper than what a lot of It's not like what people like, we're friends like. It's like this is yeah. family connected, like his family, my family, boom, boom. So um, a lot of people's getting into his head. I think I just think a lot of people get into his head and. That's that. That's 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 the, that's the end of it. Yeah. Like said, and he said, you know what? To me, it was like, well, you know what? Fuck them. Fuck him. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. And that's what that says. And, and, and same for when everyone else did their thing. I said, you know what? It's all good. Pay attention, you pussies. Better listen up. Oh five for tax and niggas better give it up. Four or five great aim betting souls. I lift you up. In that situation, do you feel that you let Shaq down in any way regards finding out what exactly did happen no, and no, helping no. him come no, to no. some conclusion. No, not easy, yeah. All the men them take their own paths and, and, and they they do things how they want to do it. I'm saying to you, because remember, I, I, this one is here, yeah, I'm always accessible and reachable. So it is what it is. So I've, I've spoke to Shaq and everyone else and he knows what time it is. So that's it. I must spoke to you, and then what you do after that now is up to you. It's not like we haven't spoke, we spoke. So, whatever happens after that, whatever road you go down after that, it's cool with me. I'll say to you. So, same thing again. 
it's not when you're when you're when you come from being brothers or family. Shouts like my little brother because they're they from the younger generation. They're not from my generation. They're younger generation. Mm. So they're my little brothers. Remember, his brother's my his brother was my my right hand party, but he's boom. He's younger than me as well. Yeah. So Shaq's like younger than me. They're them, they're, my, they're, not, they're younger than my brother as well. They're like young. Them them are young. So that's not my generation. So I've spoke to you as a big brother. Where where this what it is? Boom boom boom. Maximum love and respect standard always is. Whatever you do after that, and where where all you go down is up to you. Yeah, that's how it is. It's, it's, it's always it's the same thing. Like it's, it's what it is. Like I saw we had a um, we had a um, like a little re, like a semi kind of reunion on my brother's birthday in the studio, and loads of people was there. All the shackles there. I'm saying like, everyone come down. We had a little um, little like a little small talk there. Yeah, me boom boom boom, bam, and that's it. I'm saying it was cool. It was no problem, and that's just how it is. It's it's not. It is what it is. He's probably got. He's probably said stuff all the time that I don't agree with, and I've said stuff, and it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, same thing, same kind of kind of situation. But it's just PDC. That's just PDC politics. If only like it's just yeah. like bro, it's it's like family stuff. You know, when people say, "Well, you got family issues." It's just that was all the our issues were family issues. Shaq call if you're ready for war, family first, fuck gossip, I'm quite still got no. guns speak for the bitch niggas get shot, shot in the foot and walk funny you aim straight at the top. We've got that kind of party no more. I'm saying to him, we're different age groups. Man, I think at the time, when I was when man was younger, man forgot that well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm I think everyone always used to think, cause I was doing stuff for so long, long ago, they just thought that when they when they coming into their prime time, they thought I was gonna still be in the, that time with them. And I'm not, I'm I'm a big man. Yeah. I'm, I've just got I'm having kids and all that. I've got kids. I've got do school runs and all that. You know them ones there. So like, man's in a different, different, whole different war game, and that's what it was. So it's all good. I'm saying it's not no. It's it's it's, 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 it's love. It's family. It's family. It's not yeah. love. But I, I know Shaq with the time, the things that was going on at that time, I could see why he would have thought that. Yeah. yeah. But it's all good. It's all love. It's not a problem. And he, he's saying now Shaq knows he can come and chat to me anytime. He can phone me. He can come and link me. It's not a problem. If you got like go speak about stuff, yeah, it's all good. It's all love. It's never been. It's never been that that um problem. Yeah, I'm a man. If I see them lot. If I see any of the man, they walk past me. I walk past them. They say well gone. I say well gone. Yeah, it's that time. I'm saying to you, they see me on a fight. It's fight. Yeah, man knows how it is with me. I'm like, and I'm cool. It's it's not it's not no problem. It's it's, mm. it's all love. It's all we're brothers. It's, you feel me? Yeah, and that's how it is all the time. I'm saying to you, it's not fun. I see his mum, show his mum love. You get yeah. me? That's what I'm saying. So it's it's not like it's different. It's family. It's family, I'm saying to you, it's all okay, good. Okay, so the last thing on that situation, mm -hmm. just to clear it up, on Shaq's mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. is that like you mm -hmm. said, him and your, his brother and you were proper. Proper, like He's same, under yeah. you as a young and mm -hmm. he's got love, mm -hmm. you've got love, his brother's mm -hmm. got love, mm -hmm. he's now broken hearted. Mm -hmm. In his mind, he could be seeing that PDC, who he's put his love into, mm -hmm. and not showing him as much mm -hmm. love back in this situation of heartbreak. So that could be where the fight no, no, no. comes he, from. He just, he just went down, he just chose, when you ch choose your direction, when, remember, he was more, when Tano and that went down old Trey, Shaq was the, more with old Trey, he was on that side, so that's where he went down. That's, mm. what, that's where the path that you wanted to go down, like the old Trey and CFR route. So they was kind of on that route. So that's all love. Yeah. So they, I, I was like, cool, you do your thing. I was just PDC and DV, so remember, you, them lot, Shaq went over to more like the Tanner side and DV, all the, the man that, that was here anyway, to stay there. Like DV, Sykes, Bikes, all the man that they were still over here, Nadge. They, remember the PDC was, there was man that was on the road. I'm saying to you, that, was, that weren't really on the music. There was a whole other set of PDC that was on the road that was causing mayhem. Mm -hmm. And there was man that were the rappers. I'm saying to you, that's where people get a bit twisted. I'm saying to you. And then it, it kind of goes back to the point where, boom, we said earlier on when certain man was saying, well, um, when Peel them crew, when when the, the Peel them crew first started and Jadj wasn't around and right, that's come from a bag of haters. That's come from the men that are washed up now. You get me? The men that are washed up now. Bear them are washed up. Bear them old school men are washed up and they're, they're haters. They're at home mad. Like no one, no one talking about you. No one, no one to interview you. They're washed up, fam. They're dry lips, dry hands, fam. Shut up. I'm saying to you, that's that's real. I'm saying to you, that's a real, that's a real talk, fam. And that's where a lot of the that kind of hateful. Hateful questions comes from those kind of people, like they haters. I'm saying to you, people that say those kind of things, they don't like to see no one pro progress. You feel me? If you, yeah, it's like they feel like I have to mention their names. I have to mention no one's name, fam. Like I'm me, fam. Like my own man. I'm saying to you, and that's what it is with everyone. Like straight, anyone that's got a problem with me or wants to speak to me can always speak to me. I'm saying it's only love. Like, but especially Shaq, and Shaq's like that's he's like my little brother. Mm. So we're like family. So it's calm. If you don't speak to me, it's not a problem. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not no. It's not no animosity. It's not all. It's not all bad vibes. It's cool. 
What did you think when he started spitting with Tanner and that? Yeah, motherfuckers never like me on the ends Till I start waving a hammer The two came where it seems Get to the point Old school's finish on the end After being from PDC going over to say I didn't think nothing I thought cool they do that I thought as, as, as I said to the beginning Old Trey when they started their thing I was cool I said do you, you lot do your thing it's not a problem. Even now, there was like some of the old traits will come to the studio with these men sometime and they'll be spitting and like the, the new set of the yeah. new old train. They, they come to the studio spitting with these men. It's all love. I'm saying to you, it's all love. And then you've got like um, Mega Man's little son and all them man, they bomb bomb. They come to the studio and get their do their thing. It's all love. I'm saying yeah. to you. That's it. The man comes so rage. Well done, big judge. Same thing. Well done, big judge. Good. Yeah. Boom, boom. Keep it moving. It's saying it's all love. I see better old traits. They always show me love. Well, well done, big judge. You're good. Boom. See, it's, it's, it's not like no, they know it's not enough to do with them. Yeah. It's, it's, me and Tanner had our own thing. Like, I'm not gonna say an old chain you think, mm. no, bro, you're a little youth fan. And I show them mad love, wow, on you, you're good, yeah, boom, make sure you look after yourself, boom, boom, boom. And I gave them the same talk, give everyone. <laughs> hey, what? The road thing's long, fam. Mm. Make some money and build something, go do something big. I told everyone the same thing. And they will say, Jack always tells us that. That's it, that's all I'm on. Straight. What do you think of Shaq's music career? The fact that even though he doesn't put a lot of work in, he's still classed as one of the hardest there ever was. Yeah. And the fact that he mm. still gets more views mm. than anyone mm. from PDC mm. except for Devious. I wouldn't say he gets more views than everyone. He doesn't get more views than everyone from PDC. He does. Devious no. is the only person in, no. in PDC that gets more views than him. If you check his status. The Shaq's? Yeah, Shaq's no. second, your third, everyone else is out the window. I don't think so. It yeah. definitely yeah. is. For the tracks. And do, do you know what is it? That, that's, that's how much you must, you must watch the thing. Like, that's, that's how you know. <laughs> see, that's how you know that. See, I, I didn't even know that yet. So, yeah, so I didn't even know that. So, um, I didn't even, I didn't even know Shaq's put out music. Yeah. So he, he gets yeah. a lot of views, but like yeah. I said, he don't put out nothing. He puts so, one track a year. So, I, that's, I didn't even know that he put out music. Yeah. That's, that's what you know. That's what you know. Like, I'm not even, that's what I'm saying. I'm not even concerned with what's, what's happening. I'm not even on that. I'm saying I'm, on, I'm in some different place. Like, yeah. so but if, if that's happening, that's all good. Yeah. Watch out, I'm iced out. You fuck around, it's lights out. I've got the hottest sound, Temp Man shut him down. Let's talk about Temp Man. Temp man. Why does his name mean nothing now? Because he went down, he's, he went out of time. He went to prison too much. He went to prison too much. He went, Temp Man went back to that prison sentences on a, for long. I all miscounted that. Imagine there's times I thought Temp Man was on road, you know. And I was saying, where's Temp Man? I said, Jags back in jail and what? The alcohol lost count. Trying to lock me up in a pen with some dumb charge. I had to help him. He was going to jail too much. Like it was too, it was too much. And there was times though. See, with Temp Man here, I love Temp Man to death as always. I'm not another little um, brother of mine. But hear what? There was a time when he got, he did get big headed at that time. There was a time when he was when he was blowing up, buzzing wise, boom, boom, boom. Oh, I remember oh, Wiley, Wiley hollered at me for Temp Man like, yeah, Judge, I wanna do this with Temp Man. I told Temp Man, oh, I want this much money. I want, uh, and he was being like mad arrogant and mad as Temp Man. And he, he was young. Things happened to Temp Man from a young age. So that's what I would say was the blame of it. And lack of role models, sense ones around me. He only had me around him. And a lot of Temp Man was, his next name, Temp Man, he was a, he's a little madman. And he was doing the thing from early, and some people took advantage of that. And knowing that he's a madman, they kind of gassed him up, made him be a madman, and that kind of messed up his music. That's that's how, that's how I see it. Yeah, but he would have been. He's another one. I believe Temp Man would have been like on DMX level mm. if he had got, been able to go through how gigs went through. Temp Man would have went through that as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's real talk, and, yeah. and, and that's not. That's not discrediting gigs or nothing. That's because big up to gigs all the time. But Ted man, if he had, if he didn't go to jail, he'd have been on the same wave as gigs, yeah. guaranteed. Even gigs, like, gigs used to beat him up all the time. Yeah, let's guaranteed. talk about the issue. track they yeah. done together. Trust me, that's still to yeah. this day that's, in my mind. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is anybody else done no, a track that's a with gigs that no, can fuck no. with that first? That's, that's a banger. That's that a is banger. a classic. That's a banger. And, 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 and nobody and else ain't hit a first with gigs like that. No, but everyone says that though. People say no. People always say that. Tell me the gigs track was hard. It was ahead of our time, and that's that kind of that was that went against PDC. We was uh, we was too advanced at the time, and there was no industry to help guide us at the time. Yeah. So we were just going flowing, flowing in the industry, and then by the time the industry clipped on, 
Ever was in jail. That's why DV was in jail. Tedna was in jail. I was out here by myself. I was into you, and I had the Fed trying to lock me down. So people's like, you know what? Tedman's in jail. DV's in jail. Bad other ones are in jail. The police are on to judge on another level. So you know what? Let's just leave PC alone. And then they jumped on gigs. Yeah. And then gigs just got and they're saying fair play to him. Say to you. And then gigs just went big, big up gigs. Get me? He done good. And he kept the flag flying for the UK underground scene and took it to a whole nother level. Mm. So we have to rate that as well. And that's another person I don't think gets the rating that he should get. Mm. Say to you, I just, that's, just our, that's just my personal opinion. You feel me? So with regards to Temp Man, I'm gonna be honest with you now. I used to spend a bit of time mm. around Temp Man about a year and a mm. half, two years mm. ago. And what it was is Temp Man, I don't know if you know, to this mm. day, Temp Man has still got mad love for Jar Jar. Mm. Every second word mm. is Jar Jar yeah. or Biker. Mm. Yeah. And what it was is a few times I was upset because I was with Temp mm. Man and he was trying to ring Jar Jar. Mm to get some sort of studio. Mm. He was telling me, Jar Jar's coming round, we're gonna do a video. All the man names gonna be, there's gonna be cars, there's gonna be jewelry. We're gonna be banging again. I, I, I don't remember that. Exactly. I don't remember that. Exactly. Remember that. It's yeah. like he was living something yeah. that wasn't that's happening. That's was happening, but that's it. And, and it was upset. Yeah, because remember, 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 God, remember, Temba's had, Temba's had mental issues, he's got, he's yeah. got other issues as well, I'm saying, so he's not, I'm saying to you, so that's where it's coming from. But see what Temba was, yeah, he was, Temman used to live with me, no? He's Temman used to live in my house. I'm saying to you, like, I've got mad love for Temman. Mm. Me and Temman, Temman's been sleeping on my floor. We've been sleeping on the floor together, like chilling. Yeah. And just watching and, and writing bars and that. I'm saying to you, I've helped Temman write whole tunes that's some, like guiding through the songs and that. I'm saying to you, me and Temman have been through enough things together. I'm saying, I'm saying to you, it's, it's deep. So, but boom. So, um, when he come out now, um, he done, he come, he come studio one time and he done a track, but it wasn't, he, he wasn't, he wasn't on, he wasn't the same time, man, he get me. He was too much prison. He wasn't the same time, man, he get me so, and he was still thinking he was living in that time. And I was saying to him, fam, it's not like that no more, there's a new sound of music, like the videos are not like, how, how, what he wanted to do, I'm saying, fam, it's not like that no more. I'm saying, yeah. like, there's a new time, a new era, there's new young people coming out, like, it's not like what you thought before, you get me? Yeah. Temma was still talking about Wiley, and I'm saying, fam, there's an all new set of artists now, like, it's not, Temma was still talking about Dizzy school, and I'm saying, fam, you've been in jail too much times, fam, that era's gone. There's a new set of youths, and that's what it was, it was sad, but, it was we was be too we was too ahead of our time. Yeah. Same to you, and that's what it was. And and and, and while that was happening, Temp Man was in DV was flying the flag. Yeah, sometimes Temp Man used to like say, "Oh, but DV's doing this." I'm saying, "DV's DV though. Let DV be DV. You're Temp Man." And yeah. it's just it's just getting over those little hurdles. I'm saying to you, but it's all good, and we, everyone's got love. We're, we're brothers, isn't it? So when people see that we're not together, it's just like you got to think of how you are your normal brother and sister. Yeah. You don't see your sister all the time or your brother, but it's love. When you do see each other, well done, sis. Well done, bro. You ain't seen each other for five years, but when you see each other, it's like you just saw each other yesterday. Mm. And that's how it is with us, all of us. Ribs, all of us. I'm saying to you, all of us, we got that mad love. I'm saying to you, so it's all, it's all, it's all good. But I am, to be honest with you, we feel like you said to yourself, you know what, he's dead for 10 man, mm. and you gave up. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Because it was, it was in, in that jail, nothing, when someone keeps going to jail, you can't do nothing. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. You can't, he's, he, I don't think there's been a year that Tim has been out, a whole yeah. year. You, to do a project, you need like, to be at least a year. Yeah. <laughs> to do a full mi a project where you can organise a tour and, and get the, pro you need a year. Ten man hasn't been out a year. Ten man came out this year, no? And he's back in already. Yeah, I was gonna say that's yeah, what I'm the saying. Bad news is he's back in. So Ted Man be, he's back in. So Ted Man, that is, it's sad that he, he, he's saying he's you're in and out of jail. So there's nothing I can do. And people always think, "Whoa, Josh should done." But I'm not a magician. I can't yeah. make man. I'm saying to you, there's only so much I can do. I'm saying to you, a project can only. I need you out for try and stay out for two years. Let's do a project. Yeah. But if you can't, I don't think Ted Man's been out of prison. I don't think he's been out for a full year since like he was like 16. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, that's serious, that's deep. He's never been in jail every year since I can remember. Every year, you know, yeah. that's a lot, fam. So you gotta think of when the first PDC song was out, Tepman been going to jail every year since then, you know. That's a lot, fam. Like, if that was a label, you know, they dropped him a long time ago. They yeah. would have they said, nah, no way. You can't do business like that. And that's what I'm trying to remind them. You have to know, understand that this is business. And business, it's not, you gotta know that that's family, that's man, and then this is business. Yeah. Business, you can't do, do certain things. And that's why people were scared to mess with a lot of PDC artists because we had sentences and when when, when Dave was blowing up, he just come out from um, um, tempted murder case. No, a murder case. 
in the murder case and, and then fight, Biker went jail for firearms and murder and the, people are hearing about this they're saying oh, whoa this is too much because the men around us are going prison for serious cases my little, my little brother Zartash went jail for attempted murder on a police officer mm. 22 I was arrested in that, that case as well so you got my people are hearing about this and like what these men are shooting police these men are doing this and like that's to the normal average person yeah, it's madness. that is madness fam so they say you know what we can't mess with these people yeah. they're they're, they're taking street life too serious. They're too involved in street culture. So that's why PC has never got to the level where it's supposed to be at. Because yeah. of that as well. Fantastic run up on the block. Hit you with the bottom of the clock. I'm so hot, hot, stop. PDC to the drop. Good news for us. And the good news we hope for you, Jar Jar, is that Tech Man's coming out soon. Yeah, man. So what would you hope to do with him See, right Tech now? Man, yeah, he just did, before, when he um, come out, I told him to go back and practice his, his vibes and get back on his thing. So it's cool. He was following me now and again. I was saying to him, fam, spit a bar to me. He spit a bar, saying, nearly. He was getting back at me. So I'm saying, you're nearly getting your thing back. Because people still love Tech Man up to this day. Yeah. They still love him. So I'm saying, well, when you get your thing back, we'll work. I'm saying to you. So it's not a thing. Tech Man's my brother. Is that saying? We're brothers. We're not like, raw. You won't deal with him again. Tell yeah. my brother, like he can knock my door, like he goes to my mum's house, like different, it's different levels. Yeah. You feel me? So it's all always love. Uh, yeah, final great. question on Temp Man. Mm -hmm. I've done an interview with him mm -hmm. about a year and a half ago. And in the interview, I asked him a question that people had been saying on the road mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. Actually I asked him too. Mm -hmm. I asked him if he's ever been juiced up mm -hmm. when he's in jail, and I asked him if he's lost these marbles. You as the front man for PDC and the one who's got the most respect, do you think that I done wrong in asking him what people keep saying behind his back? You, you don't, you're, 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 I I'm saying to you, you're, you're basically saying what the hate is and a lot, a lot of those people that think of that are, are saying it, yeah. just translating it. So it's not, you're not wrong for it, but probably the way you're saying it might sound a bit harsh, like, well, I lost your marbles, but I hear he's, he's been, Tedman's life, He's been different from a lot of people. Yeah. Ten man's been through a whole different growing up care yeah. systems and police and prisons and it's real. It's mm -hmm. a real see what man say struggle. Fam, we've been through struggle, fam. Like not this fa fantastic music struggle, man's yeah. like real life struggle, homelessness and that. Like Ten Man's been through the real the real thing. He's been through like his life. He's like a movie. Just, yeah. just, 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 just Darren Samuels. Yeah. Just Darren Samuels, Ten Man alone. He's, he's a whole movie. Do you, this is what people fail to see. Enough man, yet. your life ain't a movie, fam. Nothing, people. Their life ain't a movie. See PDC, Jaja. My life's a movie. Just by myself, from a, from birth to all the way up. It's a like wow. It's a whole series. Biker, a whole series. Mad. Ten Man, a whole movie. The man them around that we've grown up on that got movies, the life is real. It's not like no, well we created some, some illusion. Man's life is real fam. And man's come from people and other crews that are also movies. I was saying to you, so we've come from the, the generation of the 28s and the untouchables and the raiders. We was the children of that generation. I was saying to you, so we were the young people that grew up hearing about those people and then we, We've done our own thing. I'm saying to you, so we've, we've come from a stem of, of, of real struggle and realness. And that's what it is. So people have to understand that's what's affected us as well. And people at like Man, DV, myself, we've been affected by that mentally as well. I'm saying to you, so that's like it. People say to me sometimes, Raw, Jab, you say some dark shit in your lyrics, you know? Like, Raw, I think, yeah, because I've got some dark shit in my head. I'm saying to you, I come from some dark places, so I've, I, su I suffer from insomnia. I'm saying a lot of people don't know that I've got insomnia or something, I don't sleep for yeah. weeks. Mm. And enough people don't know that. Like, well, I don't last Yeah, so I, I, I'm battling with my own demons as well. And people don't know that. That's how real it is out here. Like, man's not just like some random rappers. Man's dealing with real deep shit. When you hear me say something, I really mean it, fam. Like, man's battling demons in man's head and that. So it's real. It's real talk. And same for Dev, um, Devious and Temp Man and a lot of other, a lot of other artists. So it's real, fam. It's real. It's always is. So that's the levels. Won't be silence, you sit down and shut your mouth. A real British tug, if you're real, then love is love. See, from this loyalty, then blood is blood. Do you think about the fact that Bike is going to be releasing his book after New Year? That's all blessed. What do you mean, what, what do I think about what it? What do you feel about it in the fact of, like, what do you feel is going to be based on? How far do you think that can get pushed? Because we all know your book got a good lot of success. Yeah. Do you think the same can happen for Bike? Yeah, of course. Bike's book is going to be big. Biker, Biker is, Biker is like me. 
biker is going to just tell the truth and his book's going to... People going to be pissed with his book because people like hearing, people do not like hearing the truth. I've come to realise that, see these people, they don't like hearing the truth. They, they, they want... They, they hate when someone has come and says how you was really, you really was. People like it because people want you to, people want to hear that they were bad boys. Mm. And, not, and most people was not bad boys. I'm saying to you, and that's what it is. And, that's his role. And Biker's probably going to say that as well. And I've, I've, I've always said it, but Biker's probably going to say it as well. And they don't like him. So he said it, but Biker's cool. It's, it's what it is. Have so you, you got any insight into what might be in that book so you can get us ready? He's just going to talk about his upbringing through Angel Town. Biker's been around for long. Everyone knows that from the get go. His young youth, that's always been around. Like the pest. Like, like, to me, he's like a little biker, the pest, but he's, he's, he's always been around. Mad love. He's been through not. He's seen. Biker's been through enough things that's happened in Brixton. He's been there. From the get go, so it's all love. And I think it's gonna be a good book. It's coming out in January, I think. Yeah, January. Yeah. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be massive, it's gonna be good. And I'm saying okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be helping push that as well, get me. And in the future, we're gonna try to make some, we're gonna be working on making movies and yeah, it's a tutorial. There's a lot of stuff gonna be happening. Okay, yeah. let's get back to that five in the booth. Mm. In that five in the booth, we also heard that at one time Jar Jar wanted a reunion from the PDC man then. Those arranged the studio session for PDC to flow again. And I'm just thinking, whoa, that'll be sick, like throw up. Me and Soul sat in the studio and nobody showed up. But he sat in the studio and nobody turned up. Oh, that was that was nice to that, innit? Yeah. yeah. So what, who did you not want and expect but, but, to turn no, up? No, no, here, here it was. I, I just gave man a chance here. We built something, so he, he was, what was the, what was that? Oh, there was, I was getting emails from fans. Bro, we was getting emails for, like, for days, but like, the, the, the people that run my email system were sending it to me, and I was like, oh my days, I must went on holiday one time, I come back, and I just had a bag of emails saying, oh, PC reader, PC reader, like, bad people, blah, blah, judging this combination, or devious and this person, clever and that, and I was like, bro, so I said, you know what, let's try and do a song. A song together with Bear the Man them and let's see how it is. Even though so even though the, even though certain man weren't chatting to chatting to chatting to man and all that. So I said, well, I know what, let's just see from Nigel's like Nigel's more like, well, let's let's see if we can do it, get me? Like, well, let's try it. I think it was more Nigel's kind of had to do it as well, get me? I was like, well, I doubt if it was gonna come, but let's just I don't mind. I'm always like that. It's not a problem, let's let's do something. And Nigel's like, yeah, come let's do it. So we tried to um we holler at everyone. Um we holler at everyone, um Tepna was in jail. Dee was in jail at the time. I think Dee was in jail. Tana was in jail. Who was here? I think Shaq was out. No, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq was out. He also was out. But yeah, between me and Nigel and a couple of other people, we said we we call everyone, and it just happened that time. No, done the man didn't come. I think like around yeah. four man turned up. So basically, it was a no one turned up. So at that, at that day, anyway, then what happened after that? We had another day, and then loads of people come. But that day, no one come. So that just so basically, people were saying about oh man, our judge just left everyone. He's not really doing nothing with everyone. But then that's what Nigel was saying. But I arranged a day, and no one did come. So that's bad. Mm-hmm. I'm saying to you. So that, that's where that come from. I'm saying to you. That's what it was. That, that that's where it come. But it wasn't nothing major. That just telling the truth. Yeah. And I did, we just do what we do. We just tell the truth. <laughs> That's all it is, yeah, it's real. Okay, over the years we keep getting the talk that Jar Jar's retiring from rap. Mm. And then the next thing we see is another banger yeah. from Jar Jar. Where is all this coming from? Have you actually yourself put it out there that you're retiring yeah. and then not retiring? No, I know, no, remember, guess what happened now? I was doing, I was going to f- finish the rap, I was going to, I was, fin- was kind of getting sick of the rap thing, I was going to say, no, I know what, I started doing the poetry, the poetry thing popped off. I got bookings to go like, well, baby, that's a very I started, nothing started happening, so I was like, rawr! I started getting a bag of bookings, so I said, no, what, fuck this rap thing. And then I started doing the, um, the, 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 um, the poetry thing, but then what was happening, people saying, Jan, you're doing poetry, but no one else said making music from the camp. So it's like, there's no PDC, so I was like, rawr, and the name started going, that, that, dying out a bit, so I said, rawr! So that's why I started pushing stuff back, and the DV come, and the DV bumped it back up again, I'm saying to you, so DV helped me as well, so DV come back through, and then, Boom, we started doing certain things, and then, and then yeah, then, then we kind of got the, the, the people started looking again. You feel me? Yeah. And that's what it was. Yeah. But no, no one was making no, no one was making no music for a hot minute. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. No one was making music, and, and, and I just, that's why I kind of said, you know, let me start throwing some bits and pieces out, and I started doing that. I'm saying so. I done. I think after that, my last album I done, I done the um, last message that went to like n- number ten or something in the, the hip hop charts. 
And then after that, I done, I done something else, and he went, he done good. And I was like, raw, I let out some old stuff. That's it. I put out, I put out, I done a CD of all like old songs, and he, and he went mad. And I was like, raw. And so that's kind of doing it. Yeah, yeah. So it's all good. Yeah. Okay, are we ever gonna see a visual again with the whole of PDC? Because if anyone can do that, it's you. Yeah, I could do that. But you know what it is? It's, it's, it's everyone being on road. Yeah. Yeah, it's everyone being on road at the same time. I don't think everyone's been on road at the same time yeah. for, since the start. Not everyone's been on road. So what about a visual with everybody you can get your hands on? Yeah, well, I, 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 I would, I would Including do that. Including Shaq yeah. and Tanner. But that's, that's, if they, that's, if, that's if everyone, that's not, that's not to do with if me getting everyone on the track. That's if everyone is grown up now and can put their differences aside, speak, yeah. about, speak about their differences first and then say, yeah, come, let's do this thing. Yeah. Let's just do a one track. Because even, that's what we want even a, Even a one track, and the same one, let's just do a one track. Let's see what happens for me. Let me see what happens for me. Let's do a one track and at least we've just done it and that's, and that's it. And then that, that, it's not see what happens for me. That will be a big buzz, guaranteed. <laughs> so it's not just, it's not see what happens for me. If everyone's on one track, if all of us was ever on one track, all of us, the full team, it would be, it's mad. I think when PDC is all together as a team, there is no one in this whole of the UK that is stronger than PDC. I've told man that straight. When the whole camp is together properly, every single person is there, there will be no camp stronger. I, I'm no, no fuck. That's not, even, that's not even being big headed yeah. or being disrespectful to no one because everyone's got, got their good camp. But it's, that's a strong team if everyone's together. That's it, that's just being real, but yeah, that's to get everyone man's in prison and it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. But if everyone can put their differences aside and say, you know what, let's just let's just make a track, then boom, it could be it could so be. So it's a possibility. Yeah, that that's 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 as as I said before, it's that's not a no. That that's a possibility. Because it okay. can happen. It's just man saying, you know what? Putting their little differences aside. I think now, before there was more differences, but now there's not even that much differences like between everyone. It's not even that it's not that deep no more. It's not like that dramatic. It's like man just hasn't spoken. Yeah. Well, has, yeah, man hasn't spoken properly. Not man hasn't spoken. Everyone's spoken. I've spoken to Tanner, I've spoken to Shaq. Like, we've spoken at different times, but it's not like all of us together speaking and it's not that same because everyone got different their differences. Tanner and Shaq had a difference at one point and you know, everyone had differences. My brother and Shaq or everyone, Tanner and my brother and Devi and someone else. Everyone's had a differences at one time. But it's all good. We could get everyone on. It's not a thing. Okay, who is the best spitter in PDC in your eyes? Mm. Who's got the best wordplay? Nadja. Ah, oh. Nadja. So many agree. Nadja's the best. That, that wordplay, I think yeah, Nadja's the best by far. Okay, we just wanted far. to hear your yeah. side on that's the not, like, that's, that's not just because of my brother, that's because that's lyrically, he's, he's the best writer. Nadja's always been the best writer in PDC by far. If you listen, if you took his lyrics off and wrote, read them on paper, that's, he's the best by far. Mm. By far. By far. Apart from devious. Jar Jar and we'll say Shaq even though he's not there no mm. more are all other members of PDC lazy? Yeah. <laughs> Including Naja. Yeah. Because with his talent he hasn't really given no, us nothing. Yeah because he, yeah, he had, remember he has, as well yeah there's been personal things that's been going on as well he's been dealing with as well. Yeah but it's before. like you said you've yeah. been through hell yeah, but that's and been, you yeah. still pushed yourself. Well, I can't speak for another man so but he, he, Naja he's working on the album now and it's going to be next level. That's, it, that's all I can say, he's been working it out because people have been, we get emails now for Naj. Yeah. I, I told him all the time, I go, I do interviews that people ask, like, where's Naj? Like, so he's got, he's working on the album now, an album. It's going to be banging and saying to you, so Naj's going to come out with something. And Naj is another one, no, Naj don't really like the limelight as well, no. Yeah. He's not, Naj ain't really on the, the, the bag of TV and interview stuff. Naj is not like that, he's always been, Naj, everyone knows, Naj is like the silent. Mm. Naj is the same, Naj is like a silent bum, he's a silent. That's how it is, so you, that's, it's real. And Quinny's like that as well, them men are more, them men don't really like the cameras and mm. them men are calm and saying, that's it's PDC, I'm saying PDC is real, that's what I said to man, PDC is real, like, man, them are not really fame hungry like that, man, them are not like, I want to be famous now, man, not like that, man's just, man's trying to get out of a bad situation, it's yeah. real, you get me, they're only trying to get out of a bad situation, that's what our, that's what we started for, started this for, to get out of a bad situation. It wasn't mm. like, well, man saying, well, you know what, well, we, want, we want to buy a jewelry. Man said, well, we need to get out of this bad situation. Mm. That is real, that's what that is. Okay, we all know that Jar Jar is not a name to be taken lightly, and we know you're an upfront mm. person who says what you feel. So we're asking you from all the fans, 
are members of PDC scared to put their points across to Jar Jar? And have they been scared through the years? No, no way. No one is scared of me. I'm mine. I'm like big bro. No, I speak to everyone. I speak to everyone all the time. That's what I'm saying. But it's just, be, it's just behind the scenes. It's not sort on camera. Yeah. You speak all the time. I'm saying no one. Why would they not be scared? But because in my eyes, mm. I've done interviews mm. with a few members mm. of PDC. And when I ask them certain things, mm. you can see in their eyes mm. that they're, they're in pain of how it's all panned out. Mm. But they don't say. Mm. They don't they give what they what they, they pain of how everyone... What do you mean? Because to be honest, the whole of PDC was a strong group of rappers. Yeah. And if you be real with it, Jar Jar, Devious, maybe Temp Man a little bit, and, and Shaq, mm -hmm. and Tana, sorry. That's the only names that are buzzing and have buzzed yeah. properly through yeah, the years. Yeah, that's just like goals. It just doesn't happen. Like, but Vibs has got mad buzz. Yeah, but that's what happens sometimes. In Wu, listen, like, Wu Tang kind of have a bag of people. You only hear that like, three main people. That's, it's, that's how it goes. Like, they, you can't, everyone can't be up there. Like, it, that's, how, that's, how, that's how things go. If you're not consistent, you, you can't expect to. You, see what it is here? To have a fan base, you have to be consistent. You have to make your music every single year. Without doubt, no one can't make you famous. Like no one can't make you have a buzz. I mean, yeah, you have to be consistent. Like no one can't. I can't make nothing happen. I'm not a magician. You gotta make music every day. Some everyone didn't. Everyone wasn't making music. They had they was doing other things, shot in or maybe doing their own thing in jail. So no one can't make you be famous or make you be known. And if you're not putting the consistency in, you're not gonna get out there. And that's the realness of it. And that's what that's what happened. You can't like it's not. You can't say you are like oh. Is everyone scared? No, they, how, why is everyone be scared of me? You're mad. Like, man, they're my brothers. Like, they're not, they're not scared of him. Yeah, like, but you're a yeah. strong person. Yeah, I'm a strong, and I'm a strong personality, but man also knows that. Remember, yeah, there's not. They also know that it's good. It's not. So, when you're saying, when you're asking that, they also know. They're, they're maybe not answering because they know that it's partly due to their own. Their own. Um, yeah. Their own. Their own self. It's not to do with me. It's, to do, it's not. You, you haven't put no work in. If you come to Judge now and they say, well, like if you was there now and, 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 and they was here, I said, well, you said, well, okay, how come you got no music? I would say the same thing, like, well, you got music, let's do something. Mm -hmm. Let's push it. Give me something to push. So, <laughs> what, if you're going to have to push it, <laughs> what, what, what is this thing? And that's how it is. It's real. Man's got to be real. Man's got to, man got to stop. Don't blame people. you got to be saying, well, you know what? So it's the, you've got to look at the artist and say, well, why ain't he doing it? It's his own. It's not enough to do with no one else. you got to make music. Make music. People want to hear music. That's it. They want to hear music and real talk. That's it, end of, that's it. I'm saying so. None, my brothers are never, none of my brothers are scared of me. Don't ever get twisted, you're mad. I would even be mad to even you to ask that kind of question. Like, man, they're mad, fam. Man, they ain't scared of me. You're mad, fam. Man, no, that's it, that's it. That's, I'm all, what's that word? I all feel kind of like disrespected at that, kind of, to think like that. That's like it, I that's say, you've got to give you what people do yeah. say. Yeah, no, they're, they're saying, man, it's not, man, 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 not a serious character, but they're no scared, yeah. no scaredness and that, no. Okay, a second question what might piss you off. Mm -hmm. Through the years, it's been made mm -hmm. clear to our eyes mm -hmm. that Jar Jar is the only person who's made money off the name PDC. Yeah. Is that something we're silly thinking, or is that true? No, in, 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 in bits it will be true, because I'm the one that puts money in to get yeah. it out. So, and no, 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 and Devi as well, Devi's made money. Yeah, but that was yeah. with one after that we thought that mixed came. That wasn't up Which to one? the PDC, the one London boy, American no, Dreaming. No, Devi's made money from um, one in a billion as well. That made some money, yeah, Divi, not just mid listen, mixtape money. Devi's, no, but mixtape money, whatever. Devi's made money through more few CDs. Yeah, but we're talking power money, no, money that's decent. No, 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 no one's made no power money like that, like big, like what, to a million power money? Nah, nah, like money where like you're comfortable off the yeah. fact that you built something. Yeah, Devi's made nice marks money. Divi's made nice. Divi's, Divi's had checks, nice checks. Divi's made nice money. Divi's made money from shows. Divi's got. Divi's charging at a, a time that was all like one bag, one five, and all that like two bags for sure. Divi's yeah. eat, Divi's been eating. Divi's eh, I'm saying that I've helped Divi eat, make money before course. Mm. If you're not putting stuff out there, you know where you're gonna make money from. I'm from the hard grind. What you know about hard time? I'm in the meetings like a villain with the star nine. They cop blocking. They don't want to see a star shine. Had a deal coming on yeah. your last mm. interview. Yeah. Now that deal is that for you yourself or is that for everybody? That's a business. That's a business deal, and anything I do involves everybody. Yeah. So everybody's involved in that deal. Yeah. When any Can you give us do, anything on what that deal no, is? No. Yeah, when when everything happens, all my, everything I do at progression. That's that's like saying when I was in a, when I was in my old office, I was saying well, I'm gonna get a studio 
studio, that's like saying, well, is everyone going to be have access to it? Of course they'll have access to it. That's yeah. why they're in there now. If I have a studio, or anything I do, if I get a club, then my man will have access to my club. Yeah. If I have something else, man will have access to it. Everything I do, I, I, I bring man in. you got to remember, yeah, so say for instance, I remember there was a, there was a time when, I remember, I remember when everyone was in the streets and it was time to go sit in office and, and build. Certain man was involved, mm. but then only for a little while they couldn't hack it. I say to you, the business side is a whole other level. Yeah. The business side is a different level. It's not like it's not like well, uh, I, I could just I could just jump into being the market uh, to do marketing and, and advertising and and to doing an understanding about statistics and scheduling and project planning and and event planning. It's not easy that you have to have some kind of knowledge of it. Mm. I say to you, I've, I've come from organizing events back in the days to organize events. So I understand the kind of formula you need to do it. Mm. A lot of them don't. A lot of them are artists, and that's why a lot of them have have lost out because yeah. they didn't. They, they haven't got involved in the business side of it. So that's where that's been a lot of the man's own fault mm. because they should have got involved in the business side of it, and they would have learned, and they would have understood how to how it is to have an album and how to sell it, and how to market it, yeah. and how to exactly. Then you would have understand how to make money in the music because you don't. That's why a lot of men got left behind. So then certain man is spitting for nothing. But that's, that's with the whole industry though. A lot of the industry speak for no, no reason. Most of the artists that you probably listen to don't make no money. So what, what And yet they all scream at management. Yeah, but exactly, but no one, who makes money? No one makes money. If you look in the sales chart, you will not see no other artist. Your favourite artists are not in the UK sales charts. None of them. So what, that's what I think, that's why I said that question before was a dumb question because most of the artists, they're not involved in business. Not to do business, they're rappers on YouTube. I say to you, it's not business, the man's rapping on YouTube, man's got to separate and understand who's the business people and mm. who's the rappers that are rapping on YouTube. I'm saying to you, that's what it is. So, so that's, 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 all, that's all it is, it's real. I'm saying to you, straight. Okay, let's get into creative struggle yeah. with you and Naja. Yeah. Touching souls with words, most of these rappers fake forgetting we inspired them first. The flats are dead, I'm still there about. Working legal now, so the souls is barely about. Now, what more are we gonna see on that? Because that can't be just left where it is. Yeah, that, that was also that was a, a YouTube that was made for a YouTube mixtape. That yeah. was that was the purpose of it. It wasn't for nothing else. It wasn't to do nothing that, that different than what it's supposed to do. Me and Nigel were sitting down in the studio, and we said let's make a let's make a, <laughs> a, 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 a mixtape, and we made the mixtape and we pushed it out, and it was it was real like that. Like it was no, there was no um thought of like doing anything with it. It wasn't like that dramatic like that. It was like yeah. just do a mixtape together, push it out, boom, do a couple of videos. We've done I think we've done two videos for it and it was push it online. It wasn't it wasn't even promoted properly. Yeah. It wasn't like that. It was like let's push it, bam, and that's what it loved. We was just here. And we just done it. That's how that's how we are. I'm saying to you, it wasn't even a um, deep like how you're thinking it is like that. Yeah. Yeah it wasn't that it wasn't that deep. I'm saying to you but it is what it is. It done what it's supposed to have done and that's what it done. We put it out there, boom, boom and then pushed it and then at the same time that was a time when we wasn't we, Nigel, no, there was no music making for us, so it was quiet, so it was people they expect. People still, that's new to people now. I hear people saying, whoa, that makes it hard. Just heading us now. Yeah. Same to you, so that's, that, it is what it is. It wasn't meant to do nothing than what it's supposed to do. It wasn't like, uh, we, we, we didn't go hard on promotion. It was yeah. just like, well, we made it. I uploaded it on YouTube, made a couple of CDs, gave them out, and I was, got on my business. To me, the scene is a mess, and all these rappers look stressed, and all they seem to care about is their clothes and your crepes on PDC to my death. Tattooed here on my neck. New YouTube channel. Why is it now that you've decided to? Yeah. Do one? Imagine. You no, know it was yeah. That's that's to do. That's to do your business alone. Look, I was um this year. I was um I was doing. A, I was supposed to get a sponsorship deal, and then they was like, and I showed them PDC. Almost that's on PDC. The music they were on. Obviously, I, 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 that's, that's how much. Listen, that's how much I'm dedicated to PDC, though. Know? Fam, I didn't even have my own stuff as an artist, my own individual stuff. Everything's on PDC. Mm. Everything's on PDC. Everything I've done is on PDC. So, boom, when it comes to my individual sponsorship now, they say, no, we can't sponsor. That's PDC. We, 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 don't, we don't sponsor PDC. We want to sponsor Judge of Souls. And I was like, raw, oh, fuck. That's when it clicked to me, like, raw, you know, I've dedicated so much stuff to PDC. I ain't even built my own Judge of Souls stuff. Everything to do Judge of Souls is on PDC. Mm. So, I was like, shit. So now I just started my YouTube channel the other day. People like rock. I'm saying whether I saw it, but like I, had a, I, I saw it go from like ten subscribers, thirty subscribers, the hundred subscribers. Now I'm on like oh, five hundred subscribers. That's how new my channel is. New <laughs> channel, like it's, it's real, and that's how real I am. I'm saying to I built from scratch again, so it's not a thing. That's why. That's why my YouTube channel just started the other day. Like my own YouTube channel, so yeah. I'm building it. 
It, it gave me a stuff to start from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all good. It's all love. It's all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some documentaries on there. Some stuff coming up there soon. And boom. I am Bob Marley, but I'm jamming with a fine girl that's banging. Everything firm, no hanging. Skin tone clear, looks like she's tanning. The things you've done to bring the community together, what never get talked on. I don't know. Some of the parties, yeah, some to, of the yeah. street parties. So what we used to do with dances. No, I used, I used to hold when I was when I, used, I done an event called Kid Cartel on the Eighteens. That was massive. Every, all yeah. the young youths that grew up, they grew up in that. They managed to buy new clothes for that. They'll say to you. So enough of the young youths. Enough of young generation know me from being the part of Kid Cartel and I used to do a talent show called Talent World and I've done this thing called Get Old Fever and I remember I used to book Mega Man and them lot and Neutrino and that's another man, Mega Man, that's, that's someone I rate because he's come the road, he does something progressive, you feel me? So that's, that's who people I rate and those yeah. kind of levels. I'm saying, but um, yeah, I remember booking those kind of men um, at the shows and I was, doing, I was doing a bag of events, I was doing those events and I used to, um, we used to do like penthouse parties. I was doing penthouse parties in 99 and 98 and all that like yeah. and man was going there smoking and chilling and catching the vibe, playing computer games and it was all vibes in, it was all love. I've been doing that from young. Yeah. I, I, them times I was like 18. I say to you, when I was doing when I was doing big shows and rabbit and getting like a thousand capacity people, I was I was like what 19, coming 20? I'm saying to you, so come on, but I've been doing this for long. I've been yeah. putting in work and I've always been progressive. So in the and in the meantime I've had little incidents where like street issues where I've like had to like punch a man in the face or rear me so that so that that's kind of always come with it. Yeah. But I've not I'm not that person. That's what people see that's what I always tell people like I'm not that person. Like even though growing up I've had instances where I've knocked out a man or I've punched man up or I've had to do certain things, that's cause a man violated. That I'm not that that's not what I've been you've never seen me go outside and and, and rep that. That's not what I'm about. Mm. And everyone knows that. Like, I'm a money man. And if you do with money now, you're there. A man might get punched in his face for money. That's a different story. That, that's I'm a money oriented person. That's all. That's that's it. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I came from a dark place, started drumming Then police came, we start running yeah, yeah, Through the landings yeah, yeah. on the estate Smoking weed outside late yeah. What do you feel about the fact that people are saying Take away the PDC ever mm. And any rapper who's come up from the Brixton mm. and Angeltown and mm. surrounding areas Have come up off of Sneakbo's name What do you say to that? Uh, but Sneakbo had a big influence, didn't it? So yeah. they would say that Because he had a big influence in the game in, in, From Brixton especially He's went like mainstream. He went like way into the main. Like he, he's on normal telly and that. He was so he did make a big impact. So I can hear that. But I don't think the main they come off his back though. They're just talent as well. Yeah, but just, I'm saying a lot of them have done tracks with him. Yeah, cause, or had talk against him to build yeah, their buzz. Yeah, 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 of course. But that's, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how the game goes. That's how you. That's how you even come up. You come up with him, or you come listening to come up. That's just how that's that's rap that's that's the culture of the music game like people do that so I don't see that as nothing because is what it is is what yeah. it is yeah and that's what people are gonna do and Sneakball did make a big impact so that will happen so you think he's got to live with that as well because you you're one you you come from that kind of angle mm. is what it is okay with regards to Jar Jar himself what would he tell any young you to look up to. On his stretch up from the road trying to make something of his life because we all know that a lot of people that are spitting haven't done a third of what they're saying in their bars yeah and yet they're making people listen to them bars and they're coming up thinking that them people are real and they're ending up in jail or in a graveyard no you know what is it the the, the life the the lot of people a lot of the young youths now they've come up listening to the struggle and they've copied the struggle, not having a struggle, but copied it because it sounds good and just run with it. And the struggle so sounds good, so people just run with it. That's how, that's how it is. And they're going to feel the consequences of it. Because if you're talking about shanking and robbing and rap and, and um, shooting, man, you're, you're going to end up going to jail and you're going to get shot. And you're going to be a victim and you're going to go to certain things. And you have to move area, you're not going to be able to go to certain areas, and that all comes with lifestyle. So if you, if you want that, it's going to be a lot of problems. They forget that we was coming, we were speaking about it to come out of that. Mm. That's where, and that's where a lot of people got it twisted. That like, well, we were speaking about the struggle to come out of it. That's the whole point of it. You're supposed to be in this game to get out. Man, them are spitting it to get in. How the hell does that work? You're trying to be in the wood. You're trying to move into the wood and try to like be here on a regular basis. That, that's not the, that's not the plan. We're trying to build here, make the place a better place, create some platforms for the new set of young kids and move out and move forward with it. That's that's the plan. So most of these youths, 
that are thinking that they can just be bad and chat the shit. I don't even take them seriously. The ones that are progressive, I take them on seriously. Well, what about the young youths that are taking them seriously because they're not wise to the street? Yeah, like they're going to learn. You, you can't. You know what is it? Everyone got a. You got a choice, and the choice you go with is going to have consequences. So even kids that are influenced by certain bad music or bad people, whatever, and then they're going to go down a certain road. You're going to you're going to have to learn from that yourself. Mm. I'm saying to you, so that's that's what happens. So if you follows certain rappers and says, you know what, if he's following like six, seven or one fifty or whatever numbers other people are, if he's following those numbers of people and then he starts doing crime himself and he goes to jail, he's gonna have to go to jail and learn from that, come out and be progressive. Mm. Or you can carry on being a bum and you're gonna be a bum. Mm. Or you can just go down on and be question and be something greater. But it's up to you, you have that choice to make that. I say that so if you're following those people, you, you just be prepared to go down to jail, to die or some bad shit happen to you. Just be prepared yeah. for that. That's all. That's the only thing that comes out of this. That's the only advice I can give to anyone. That's all that's gonna happen. End of story. Remember, you wanted to be a scientist. What happened to your dream? Instead, you're rolling around like a dickhead, banging for a team. You can call me a hypocrite, but still, I'm working on my dean. If you could go back to the beginning and change any one thing, would you change anything from your journey? Yeah, I would change. Um, I would change being. I would try to change, can't, obviously you can't change stuff because it is what it is, but if I could, one of the main things I would change is I would just stop to my, um, more learning and, 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 and my education side of things. Not from, not basically the school side of education, but learning for myself and like, I would have done a business plan way earlier. I would have, I would have, if I could have learned about business stuff from earlier, I would have done that. That's what things I would have changed and more educate myself to go in a different direction. And to not be in the hood for so long, I'm saying to you, that would be my that would be my direction. I'm saying to you, that if I could change something, but we can't change nothing. So it's a thing like, well, I did go and I went down. So now, it's how do you make sure that you're moving forward and not staying? You're not gonna follow suit from all these other guys that yeah. went down that same road. I don't wanna be. I don't. People say, well, like you're a hood legend, fam. I don't wanna be a hood legend, fam. I don't wanna be a hood legend. I didn't start this to be a hood legend. Like my plan wasn't, bro, I'm going to do this to be a hood legend. I don't want to be known in my hood as a hood legend, fam. Like, what's that, bro? What does that mean? Like, later, what, what is that? And that's, that's, that doesn't mean, that, that don't mean nothing to me. I'm just saying to you, like, my, my kids grew up, well, your dad was a hood legend. What did he do? Oh, he was a bad boy. What? what the, what's that? that? That don't mean nothing to me. Mm. I'm saying to you, so that's not, that's, that's, not, that's not what it is, I'm saying. So I didn't plan to do it. So my thing is that, bro, we have to build. I want to leave a legacy of progressiveness. So people say, well, no. Them man come from the struggle, they came from the struggle, but look what they done. I'm saying to you, them man was from, they come from that, like, that whole kind of street gang kind of background, but look what they turned it into. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, and look at the stuff they went through to get it to that, that level. I'm saying to you, and they built something great out of it that's going to help future generations. And that's the, what I'm talking about. That's, that's legendary. Mm -hmm. I say to you, and that's, 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 that's helping people. I say to you, it's not about raw. Well, being some good legends about well, well, helping people and making sure that there's like a little you that's like the, the next generation of Elijah uh, um, judges and Tempmans and Devises have a better help and better platform to go mm -hmm. down so they don't make the same mistakes that we made. You feel me? Yeah, that's, that's real. Okay, is there anything in this interview that you feel you wanted to let people know that we haven't covered? Um, no, that's what I'm, I'm saying. There's like nothing I want people to. Uh, uh, no, another thing people always ask me, like, bro, because people say, like, bro, oh, uh, yeah, did PDC start the, the um, UK rap thing? Where now? We didn't start UK rap, you know. Here it was now. This is real. Bam. Because there was, there was a lot of people before us, like, there's been Rodney P, there's been, like, a, there's people on this wall that have been old school. Like, if you look at these old school pictures of rappers that was doing this thing from back in the days, there's a bag of them. I'm saying to you, they was old, they're old school. They set the pace, get me, but we, what we done, we came with a vibe of the estate rap. Estate rap that's talking about real estate issues, social issues that no one's speaking about. Mm. We brought that to the attention of people. Like, raw, they're living like how we're living on estates now. They're talking, that's, we started that, guaranteed. We, we was the pioneers of that whole estate rap. Like in America, we've got projects. We started it over here for estate rap, like talking about new school problems and what we're going through. We started that, but we was influenced by a lot of rappers before us. I'm saying to you, and American rappers as well. But was, and there's also people like Rodney P. Like I was imp influenced by London Posse before, saying they was doing thing with their hoodies on that. I was like, bro, that looks hard. 
So we was influenced by a whole lot of um, rappers like Coach Reedy, rest in peace Reedy for the 28th slow. I was inspired by a lot of people like that. I'm saying to you, Black Twilight, a lot of people that was also doing their stuff as well. So we have to always make sure that people know that it wasn't like we just started UK rap. There was a, we was inspired by a lot of other artists, but for the estate rap, we kind of brought that to the forefront. Mm. And then a lot of people also jumped on that and ran with it and done good stuff as well. You feel me? So it's all, it's all good. Okay, anybody you want to shout out and talk about at the end of this? No, I shout out everyone, I'm saying to you, and all, the, all the young people that, that um, are watching, they're saying to, to stay progressive, you feel me, and, and take heed to what I'm saying, you feel me, like don't, don't think that you have to be pressured to be a bad boy, don't think the bad boy thing's cool, the bad boy things are bumping, and look at, when you start looking at your people around you, look at them as what I'm saying to you, don't look at them as they're g because they've done one thing, look at them in real, like real situation, like raw, that's not bad at doing, that's a bum thing, that's a joke man thing, I'm saying to you, a man's got to start looking at their friends like that, so I just say to people, you know, to stay progressive and say don't follow the hype that's going around. Don't be peer pressure into this, this street life stuff. The street life stuff is not cracked up to, to what everyone thinks it is. It's, it's not like that. It's not, it's not real. A lot of the stuff out here is not real. I'm saying to you, so just to start, being, to start making your situation better by doing something productive, you feel me? And all the haters and that, I don't care if you don't like me, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you have no benefit to it. When I wake up, when I'm paying my accounts, tax bills and all that, like, you, you have no... You have no Benefit to my life. I'm saying to you, I don't care like, what you think. Like, it's real. I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to you, big up all the people. You feel me? Love. What's coming next from Jar Jar? What are we going to see on the screens next after I'm, this? I'm, right now, I'm trying, I've got another book coming out. I've got another book coming out. Um, that probably be ready by probably the end of next year. Um, we're, we're, next year, we're starting the process for the film, for um, the PDC film. We start the process next year. So that probably take that. that that's going to be a, that's going to be a couple. That's going to be a long process. Not going to be a little thing because. I'm putting my heart into this. That's why I waited so long. It's gonna be a pro proper film, mm. not like not the films you see now. It's gonna be a proper film, like proper, like proper storyline, not like no jokes. It's gonna take a little while. So that's why people always say, "Why? What's up with the film?" I'm saying, I'm doing it myself, and I, I've done a lot of things by myself. So it takes a bit longer than the mm. usual. So, but I'm putting a lot of. I want it to be done properly. So that's why it's taking so long. And. Yeah, that's 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 the rumors of it. I got got the um, I'll be pushing. I'll be working some new young artists and and, and working on the label kind of stuff as well. Um, and yeah, I've got saying there's, there's there's tons of stuff I want to do. I'm saying there's tons of stuff. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be doing stuff in Africa and Brazil and Jamaica and stuff soon. Mm. And some more music projects and that. So yeah, I'm I'm just doing everything. I'm moving forward with it. I'm saying to you. Okay, big up Jar Jar for this interview. It's been a long wait, but we're saying. finally here. Big up all the young youths in the roads that don't follow no leader and do what's positive exactly. for their family. That's what I'm saying. And forget all that going to jail and going to the grave over somebody you else's talk. Real talk. And big up my brother R. Soon up to give the rap game what he left behind. The realness. The hardest regardless. And all the people that watch this, some might not like it, but it was all real.